two. Hello, hello. It is your friendly neighborhood podcasters, (laughs) Ethan Klein of the H3 Podcast, joined by my beautiful, swaggy (laughs) wife, Hila, who's been swagged out so hard lately. It just doesn't stop. Thank you. It's not gonna. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Also, I want to say happy Trans Visibility Day today. We see you. And we're coming for you. Mm. To give you hugs. To give you hugs. Oh, good. I'm coming. If anything, I'm coming to your defense. As always, you are valid. (laughs) You are worthy. We love you, mm-hmm. and shame on everybody who's going to be on the wrong side of history. Right. They're going to have to come at us first. And guess what? It's well, all maybe. online. All these all these pieces of crap who are putting out all this transphobic stuff, it's all on video, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like if you go back to like, uh, I don't know, if you go back to like, you know, Jim Crow, everyone was popping off with all this crazy racist stuff. It wasn't on video on YouTube. Now it is. Internet's forever, bitch. Internet's forever, bitch ass. <laughs> 50 years, you're going to have to answer your grandkids. They're going to spit on your grave, bro. You're such a scumbag. Yeah, that's what we're doing here today. Spit on your granny grave. Mm-hmm. So, um... You said it. Spit on your granny grave, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh... Oh, thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this episode. We love you so much. For Shopify. Okay, we've got a lot to get to. Lots of fun stuff here today. First of all, look how... This shirt, which is so cool. <laughs> is there a Teddy first? Turn around. Wait, are we doing Here. it? Did we do it? Ooh. Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> go oh my god. <laughs> it's going. Turn it up. Turn it up. Angela Bassett. Jeez. Angela, Jeez. Angela, Angela. Well, we're actually going Angela, to do Angela, little, Angela, 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 the cl- and so here we're gonna pop off some pieces as the crew graciously right. models. Oh my God! Right. Here comes Sam. Here comes Sam. Who is she? Um, Who is she? We may never know. This is our bike's jersey top, and Sam, I believe, made her own skirt. So go off. Okay, I was gonna pop. Dude, your outfit Bean. is popping off. You made that skirt? Yeah. She says she did. She's not on mic. Good yes. for you. That's yes. amazing. Sam looks amazing. Thank you, girl. Work it. That's the biker. Uh, bike jersey. Bike jersey. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. There is Olivia. Olivia. Uh, this is the, I guess you know more than me, Ila. Well, it's a button up. And then she's got our skirt underneath, which is a really cool wrap skirt. And it's got the little webbing belt. Yep. So this is not a Godzilla <laughs> item. It's just a core item coming out on Thursday. And in the well. same collection to complement the Godzilla. Yeah. Thank collection. you, Queen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Zach, you know he's swagging out with the camp shirt. Ooh. How does it feel, Zach? Tell me about it. He says he feels different. We were really inspired by the vintage Godzilla, the old stuff. And so this poster is like one of my all-time favorites. May I ask how come it there's like a double on the head? That's because he unbuttoned it. You oh Zach had to go so deep with the button. (laughs) There it is. There it is. (laughs) So button down at your own uh, wrist. Your own wrist. Yeah. Oh oh oh! oh. I mean a two-headed good. You gotta pay for that. All right. Here we got the mesh top. Uh, we we commissioned uh, one of my favorite artists to work with. She does this great hand-drawn oh, uh, yeah. drawings. So we had her make her own hand-drawn Godzilla and then all these like, cool elements of like destruction. Yes. Helicopters, building on, on fire, yes. stuff like that. And Lena is working it, looking fabulous. <laughs> Thank you, girly. <laughs> 
Slay City Cam. Uh, yeah. These colors, as he was saying, and I agree, it just brings out the inner cam, doesn't it? Yes, it really does. Yes. I love... Um, He's the... sipping a mug that matches the whole color palette. I love how you styled it with a yellow shirt on there. It's awesome. Um, so we went here pretty uh, simple with the design, but it's got like this destruction element. So we made it kind of like distressed. Okay, a little distressed. And just really fun colors because that's what we're about. That's it. Thank you, Cameron. Awesome. Amazing. You worked it so... <laughs> okay, AB's got the glass on. <clears throat> Where's he's at? And this, this is... This is the real fucking cool streetwear yeah. piece right here, boy. Yeah, that's the, the crew neck for the streetwear kind of guy. You know, he doesn't want to wear too much collar. Pop it out, Dan. He likes the neutrals. He likes the black. Look how cool he is. The one color print because he's sophisticated. He's so <laughs> he is sophisticated. You look great, AB. You've been working out? He says yes. <laughs> Looks like it. All right. And uh, then uh, Dan is, this is Dan coming on in here with the, now this is. This a, one, yeah. Mm -hmm. We we were so inspired by the <clears throat> character of Godzilla and the like, this like ray that comes out of his mouth. So we went with a puff print for him and then embroidery for the blue details. To kind of like exaggerate <laughs> yeah. it. Keep hold that, hold that. <laughs> Wait, dance face. Hold it, hold it. And we designed hold it. dance face. Really? <laughs> he doesn't listen to me. He doesn't follow my instructions. Dan's always been his own man. Break. Your turn. I don't know. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, wait, hold on, Dan, go back. Just the. I want to point out the um, embroidery. Yeah. Like that uh, kind of. It's got a little bit of like a glittery element. Yeah, it's element got a glittery element. Thread. It looks so cool. Yeah. Looks so, he looks so cool. All right, I'm gonna pop in there. He's so cool. He's so cool. He's so cool. <laughs> All right. Here comes our muse, Ethan Klein. Um, Ethan so likes nice. a really bold outfit. And so this is the kind of shirt that is specifically designed for Ethan. It's it go it goes all out. There's no holding back. Love it. It's just all out there, one thousand percent, all the time. Talk to me, baby. And he's Pretty on fire. Is. And his dance moves are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Love that. Love that zip up hoodie. Can you zip it up, Ela? It's so nice. Dude, I love that graphic. And the the zip up oh, hoodie, yeah. it's beautiful, it's perfect. I'm loving it. Well, okay. They didn't see those. Wait, they didn't see them. No, show us the shoes. One more time. What Woo! the hell? Please stomp on my balls with those. That's all I ask. Here comes Ian with my favorite piece. Ian looks so cool. Ian is a streetwear god. He is working it. He's loving it. This is like our pixel Godzilla interpretation. Yes. This is our statement sweater of this collection, I would say. Um, He's taking floating. The, taking He's loving the artwork it. and executing it in the jacquard within the sweater. It's my favorite thing to do when we work with collaborations. Right. We don't do it the simple way. We try to really make a design. <laughs> okay, he's feeling natural. He looks like a natural up there. <laughs> but you know, uh, you. Okay, should we go back there one second, Ian? Yeah, this, yeah. it's just, the sweater came out so nice. The yeah. pattern, it's so unique. And again, with the- <laughs> With the embroidery. The glittery embroidery uh, nuclear laser moment. Yeah. We're loving it. Thank you, Ian. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> is that everybody? That's it. And there's oh. is that everything or is there there's more items too, I'd imagine. I think there's a couple more t-shirts. <clears throat> yeah. There's like oh, there's a tie. A Godzilla tie. tie. Well, we'll show those next and week. And then but... there's a flames tie. So those are coming out on Thursday of yes. next week. So thank you everybody looking absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Thank you guys so much. Stoked on this one. Giant Godzilla fan here. Cool. So. I'm glad. Thank yeah, you. it came out so. You know, I gotta say, Eli, oh, you guys I think AB is running with the missing items. Oh, Eli. Oh, hey, Gabo. <laughs> one sec, there, Gabo. Gabo. Yes. So. Oh, we got the. 
couple more items. Oh my god. Wow. I'm oh. just all over the place, man. I'm all over the place. All right, take your it's time. Friday, but Get... I'm all over the place. I, I can't talk. I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just all over the place. My day, not my day right now. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh what's, my god. What's going on, oh Gabe? God. Are you oh okay? She's distressed. Oh, I'm just, I'm just stressed out, baby. What's going on? Oh my god. What's wrong? It's not my day. I'm just, I'm just all over the place. I'm Why? All over the place He's all right over now. the place. He's Why scattered. Is that? You're, what does it mean that you're all over the place? Did he hang up? What? Is he okay? <laughs> he hung Wait, up. Wait, is he okay? Wait, he's never hung up. On Zach, was he, that a he, bit you guys played? He's playing? okay. Yeah, he's okay. Well, I didn't. Sure? I didn't get the joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a little different pace for. Friday. We, we were there we were trying good. we were trying something different. <laughs> well, I guess it didn't go off great. Can but. I? Can I? <laughs> Can I ask what was the uh, strategy with that? Well, every week we, you know, I'll ask Ian or AB or whoever, like, what can we do with Gabe? And then I think AB threw out the idea, like, let's let's have him just like be all frantic and hang up the call. <laughs> Which I'm like, all right, it's different. It's funny. I mean, it is different. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't leave him like that though. I couldn't be like, yeah. all right, well, Gabe, all right. everybody, on to the rest of the show. Okay, well, Gabe, <laughs> he's doing well. Where well, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> The, uh, there's so, this other shirt. Actually, I love this shirt too. It's my favorite as well because it's again taking those elements that were on the mesh mesh top. So we did it also as a t-shirt, and it's on the tie. All these really cute drawings of um, destruction is what I like to call destruction. it. Destruction. <laughs> Chaos. A tie of uh, just flames. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys so much Thank for uh, participating. Absolutely. Oh my God. Appreciate it. <laughs> Very exciting. This one, we're, we're, we're happy. We're excited about it. This year is looking pretty good for Teddy Frisch, I got to say. Know. There's so a, excited. There's a huge collab coming up. Mm -hmm. and is it? No, thanks. Is it the month after next year? <coughs> thank you. Um, it's um, two months. Two and months two after months. this one. It's like the biggest IP you can imagine. Oh but boy. Oh boy. for me, this Did year it? resembles a lot because the previous year was like a lot of the collections that were coming out were things that were being worked on when I felt like the company internally was not in a good place. And right. last year was really hard for me, but made it through. And really, I feel in a, such a better place this year internally within the company. So everything that's coming out now is also for me a representation of like the new times of things being better internally. And externally. Yeah. Good for, I'm proud of you. You you worked through it, man. It's not easy, you know. <laughs> really okay. worked through it. We've been through so yeah. much over there with Teddy Fresh. Yeah. Building a business from the from you know ground up. Mm -hmm. Really, literally, it's been a it's been a crazy journey. Of uh, God, it's probably pushing six years now, almost. Eh. That's crazy. It's crazy. It'll be six years in, in October? October. Yeah. Damn, that's nuts. <laughs> Well, there you go, Ela. You are you are coming into it, man. So good for you. Proud of you. Thank you. Somehow you get more beautiful every year. You have kid. <laughs> you have more kids, and you become more beautiful. It's a uh, paradox. No, it's not a paradox. It's just um. All women stay go. beautiful forever. There's never an age. I mean. What can I say? Just age is age, age is just a number. <laughs> it's a journey that will be for over years for me to discover myself, and so that's it. Yeah. Can you 16 believe? Sixteen is the age of consent. Can you believe that R. Kelly put out a song to national fame, worldwide fame and adoration, or was it R. Kelly or Aaliyah? Age is just a number. It's the two of them, no? They or, put out a song. Age yeah. is just a number. What the fuck, dude? The world was crazy not that long ago. Yeah, but we can't talk about Queen Aaliyah. She's a queen. Are, no, of course. I, I'm talking about, bro. I would never, I would never throw dirt on her name. Mm hmm. She's an know. angel. <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, moving on here a little bit. Also, kind of related. I'll touch on it real fast. Congratulations. Got a little write up there for Ela's streetwear <laughs> collabo. Mm hmm. Oh, we have a skate deck coming. Everyone loved that last time. Yeah. Here it is. A little preview. Yeah, it's sick. Sam made the set. We're gonna be dropping these photos soon. Sam yeah. did an amazing job on the set. <laughs> I saw her paper mache with those little windows <laughs> on there, boy. <clears throat> no, and you looked like you were gonna say something, but then you did it. 
<laughs> I was gonna. They're Scrabble pieces. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, wait, that why I don't. It's There's not Scrabble important, pieces? but I just thought it was cool. Yeah, the little yeah. Uh, the lights in the it buildings. It is cool. Yeah. Wait, cool. Are, tiles. are Scrabble pieces made of paper? They're like, I got no. It's wood. Oh, the wood. Oh, They're wood oh I thought that'd be too heavy. Oh, no, didn't know that. Not too heavy for a glue dot. <laughs> there it is, Scrabble pieces. Cool. You got to work with what you've got. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> Up, Roxy. Uh, check it out. You know, if you want to read about it. Appreciate them. Reddit, Live at though. the Up, Roxy. <laughs> There's Man. no Y at the end. Yeah. Up rock oh up rock. <laughs> Night at the rock up Roxy. May 13th. <laughs> there it is. Oh, okay. We do love up go. rocks. I think somebody there is a family of the show, I have a feeling. Um, what would this be? Life and culture? They've always been super nice to us and I love them. Yeah, well I don't even see it on their homepage, so how much do they love us? No, I'm just kidding. It just went up. So uh, anyway, thank you to them. Thank you to Elena279 for five gifted subs. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Also, God, it just never stops. Uh, the Ela hype train <clears throat> has not yet slowed down. Another mm. look, crushing out on Instagram. Thank you. <clears throat> Here we go. Whitney Cummings invited me to the premiere of the roast of Bert Kreischer. I was also there at the live event. Who is she? <laughs> God damn, boy. Wait, you were there for the recording of the I was. first roast? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that must have been super fun. I am scared to find out the footage. <laughs> Why? Because they said they have like a 360 camera. It was in the middle of the crowd, and oh. I was I was right next to it. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. You're busted. <laughs> So, but it also just looks really wild when you're close to one of those mm -hmm. 360 but this, cameras. <coughs> this was the premiere. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I saw Bert. I saw his wife and daughters, which was cool because I've always heard about them in his specials. Yeah, he, he always talks about how dumb his daughters are. <laughs> they look <laughs> great and not dumb. <laughs> um, and I saw, oh, Bryce Hall was there the same day that you had him on the show. Isn't that oh, weird? weird. <laughs> Is that so weird? I saw him and oh. I was like, hey, <laughs> you were just on the podcast. Yeah. And then the other guy, that's a TikTok guy that I didn't know his name. Oh, yeah. Josh uh, Richards. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Josh he, <clears throat> you guys took a photo together. Josh Richards. Yes. Who uh, is a, en a, he's a pseudo enemy of the show, I would say. Not Remind a, me who he is. He's the guy who hosted with Dave <laughs> Porkboy. <laughs> oh. I don't know. We took a picture guy. together. <laughs> he's Bryce's homie. They live together. He's a. He's I don't a think victim. we have enemies, Ethan. No, we he took a I picture said together. Pseudo enemy. Pseudo enemy. Mm hmm. Nothing that can't be squashed. I mean, yeah. Beef is a, or Bryce is a friend of the show. And I met some, okay, so I met. He's only an enemy by proxy. Yeah, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. He was just saying, in, he's a victim. He was just there when He's like the Iraqi happened. villager, you know, it's Saddam Hussein's <laughs> fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. But I will bomb you if I need to come over there. I met Katie, who was a bachelorette on the season. The dildo girl. You remember <laughs> yeah. that, Sam? Sam loves her. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, I met her. Oh. How could I ever forget? I didn't know she's becoming a stand-up oh, yes. comedian. Yeah, she oh, has kind she of is. a new venture into comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, she ended up with the guy I didn't like. Wait, are they still together? Uh, this is them. The guy, Donkey Kong Country. Oh, Donkey dude. Kong. No, 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 yeah. no, I do no, remember no. that, Wait, actually. Wait, is Taylor still here? Taylor, are you here? She's here. Is she together with the guy? <laughs> Is she together with Donkey Kong Country? <laughs> she's not. No, she's already like. Sam knows all. Everything. She's already okay. dated and broken up with somebody else. Taylor knows her from way back when. They're from the same I uh, place. Taylor? Yes. Is she there next to Lena? Yeah. Taylor is. Uh, in an, Taylor has <laughs> stepped into the role of managing Eva. So, <clears throat> Taylor's the one who's been doing my makeup. Ever since uh, you guys noticed, like the post looking fire, mm -hmm. it wasn't me. It was Taylor. <clears throat> and then um, I really like working with her, and so she's becoming like we're trying to figure out what's the title because I thought it's manager, and um, is it not manager? Apparently, people are confused by that title. I thought it's manager. Okay, whatever. Listen, you know what I mean. Well, <laughs> I don't know. But here's Donkey Kong Country. Uh, <laughs> so you met her. Excellent. Yes. And then <laughs> I met. Adrian, who is an old-time housewife from Beverly Hills. 
Oh, that's the and that was the highlight of your night, this, wasn't this it? This is the guy we and to, listen. To <laughs> Apparently, she knew who I was. No, and she listens to the podcast. I don't believe that. What? I that's what I said. I said I don't believe it. I'm gonna pull up a picture of her because she's like on. I don't want to be. Uh, wait, is this her? Is there more than one Adrian? Adrian, um, what's her last name? Oh, this is her. This is her. This is her. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she's an old. She's a housewife. Uh, of, uh, Beverly Hills legacy. And she says she watches the. I don't think. She does. I, don't think, I just don't think she's our. She demo. knew my name. She knew your name. She, she was did. waiting to meet you. Yes. Okay, Adrian. Maybe. <laughs> She could be watching. Right it could now. be. Does she have daughters, perhaps, that are in our demographic? Program? I do think she's got kids. <clears throat> yeah, this guy. Did he cheat on her or something? I don't think they're do together anymore. Do I need the anymore. dog on him for her? I think she was there with somebody else. This oh, Nassif. He's on that bot show. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. He's yeah, yeah. the botch guy. Yeah, yes. Paul. Uh, Paul, right? Paul Nassif. Hold on, I need to see if he cheated on her. I'm gonna dog him if he did. Hold on. One Wait, their last name's Maloof, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. They they <laughs> like, Maloof. Yeah, yes. They own like yes. the Palms Hotel or something. Yes. Like that. No, they're rich as shit. Yeah. yeah Crazy yeah. rich. Massive. Yeah, Aloof. When, when she was on the show, she, everybody was talking about her like she was one of the richest uh, housewives, you know. Okay. For like vendor pump. Right Let me get the details on their divorce so I know if I can need to dog him or not. Because, girl, I got your back now. <laughs> uh, Adrian and Malou inside her nasty divorce. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. I see what's going on here, fucking uh, 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 Paul, if that is your real name. The uh, rhinoplasty specialist. Oh, yeah. yeah. That dude went. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Storybook wedding, dueling court papers, gun allegations. Oh, oh Lord. N Nassif what? has turned in his guns. Okay, this is pretty messy. Holy <laughs> fuck. Can you tell me if he cheated or not, AB? I, I don't want to read this whole article. I'm looking at it. Yeah, ask ChatGBT, yeah. please, if uh, <laughs> ChatGBT will know. GP's out. You know what? You guys always make fun of me for using ChatGPT. This is the funniest and best application. Let's ask it to fact check gossip. And I don't care what anyone says. This shit is funny. I'm gonna fucking fact check GP gossip and you. cutting as GPT-4. Okay? And you guys are all gonna sit here and watch it. What's his name again? Uh, Paul Nassif. Wait, I thought it was aloof. What no, no, no. Her, her last name's Maloof. Adrian's Maloof. Oh. Okay. Is this Nassif like this? N A S I F. N A S S I F, I believe. S S I F. Yeah. No. Okay. So, did Paul Nassif cheat? The plastic surgeon, surgeon, cheat on his wife. All right, you fucking tell me what's up, AI robot. Bitch, I know you can't do that. Be coming at you. There was no verified reports of him uh, cheating. Hmm. Was it? Was this a recent one? He says of September 2021. It had to have been after that then. Oh shit. I'm telling you. You gotta update your yeah. it's behind the curve. It doesn't yeah. know it doesn't know pop culture. If you if you ask it if if uh Adrian Malouf's husband cheated on her, it says yes. If you ask it that way. Are you really? serious? Wait, that doesn't make sense. So why didn't what is this propaganda? I'm gonna try that. <laughs> <laughs> so Okay, so did did Adrian Aloof's husband Maloof. 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 Oh, Maloof. Maloof? Did Adrian Maloof's husband cheat on her? Uh, I'll, I'll I'll even qualify it. Adrian Maloof of the Beverly Housewives show. Adrian Maloof, who appeared on the Real Housewives was married to Paul Nassif. Okay. There were numerous uh, rumors and speculation about the relationship, including infidelity. However, it's important to note that rumors. Is Shut up! The co it didn't. It didn't. It's it shaming you for dealing in all yeah. these unconfirmed rumors. It did all this not. Hearsay, no, gossip. It didn't get a fucking life. Hold on, dude. hold on. Mm -hmm. It didn't confirm mm -hmm. it, maybe. I mean, this is how I sent it. Maybe I should have clarified the name of the ex husband. Shame. Did you use the cutting edge chat GPT four to uh, ask it? <laughs> I the did three point three point five. There's your problem. GP coming at you. Problem right it here. Doesn't have the uh, computing power. So anyway, okay, we love you. We stand you, and we hate your ex husband.
<laughs> evil, evil, evil man. I hate him. Well, that's fun. A lot going on for you, and I'm proud of you. So God bless, you. man. You got a TikTok uh, getting ready? Yeah, I'm trying to get into TikTok. Hopefully they don't ban it right when I start to get into it. Well, Elish, oh yeah, they will. Don't worry. <laughs> Elena was also saying that. Lena's, I guess, popping off on uh, TikTok, and it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, you put all this effort in, and then... They take it all away. All gone. One day. I was just telling her I'm very really excited. I'm so excited that Elo's like gonna be on TikTok more, mm. and <laughs> people are just love to see like the behind the scenes of the of everything. So thank you. I'm so excited for it. If somebody can get me verified, I think it would help. Here you are with Bert, who, by the way, is this his idea? And I, again, I'm not one to criticize anyone, but well, then don't. Well, Bert, he's, he's easy to make fun of. I mean, I, that's like his whole nature, just walking around being clowned on for being fat and gross. I mean, he put on a nice Stinky. jacket. He looks hype as fuck. He what are you put talking the about? Jordans on. Okay, all right. Okay, I, I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, shut, and, up, shut up with his wife and daughters, you know. It's, it's doing it right. Bert, Bert also has an amazing watch collection, so mm -hmm. that's just kind of the... The cherry on top. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just a hat, like that kind of hat just doesn't. I, again, I'm not the fashion police, but I kind of am at the same time. You have FOMO? <laughs> Is that what's happening? I mean, you have a little bit of FOMO. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I was at home with both. Every clothes. single person yeah. that saw me, <laughs> what's the first question? Is Ethan here? Well, that's fair. We're always together. Sure. You know, they'd ask me the same thing. But I was at home with both the kids yes. all night, you know. Moving Alpha. pieces. <laughs> no, that's cooking Alpha. dinner. You came home, they're both asleep. <clears throat> Alpha behavior. Thank you. I'm the cool A dad. A good now. dad. Okay. <laughs> I get what you're trying to say with that, Zach, but at the same time, <laughs> the meaning I don't behind like it. it. <laughs> I don't like it. Knowing, yeah, I don't like it. Um, here's something that's interesting. I had <clears throat> previously swear that I heard AB say, about the movie Black Adam. He <laughs> said, Big Black Adam. And I said, did one of y'all say Big Black Adam? And then you're both like, no, nobody said that. And you and I felt like a weirdo. Mm -hmm. Like, Big Black Adam. But what's interesting about Big Black Adam um, is that, well, you did kind of say it. Kind of. Together. At the same time. <laughs> Check this out. To absolve me. Muted. Okay. I don't hear anything. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Working on it. I think this is muted still. Uh-huh. Uh, unmute. Thank you. Peace and love. Into oblivion. Big Black time. Adam. I, I heard that too. Uh, yeah, dude. See? <laughs> See? I don't hear shit. Big Black Adam? <laughs> black Adam. Not Black Adam. It's plural. Did he not say that? <laughs> I was the only one that heard that shit. I swear you said Big Black Adam. I am black. <laughs> no. Y'all thought I was crazy for that one, but I, I goddamn heard it. Big Black Adam. Shame on you both. Wait, yeah, so can we explain it? It was me and Dan both talking at the same time. I'm going to watch yeah. it again because uh, I messed it okay, up. Okay, let's talk about that Black Adam's thing. We got, like, sidetracked into oblivion. Big Black time. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I said Big Time. <laughs> Uh, I was referring to how much we got sidetracked. I said big time. <laughs> and then he simultaneously was correcting That's you for crazy. saying Black Adams, which you said like 10 times at that point. That's so funny. Black Adam. You got to pull that, Zach. <laughs> big Black Adam. Got big it. Black Adam. You got it? Oh, I said I'll pull it. Oh. Adam? Yeah. Black Adam. Not Black Adams, plural. Did he not say that? <laughs> I'm right. I, I swear <laughs> you said ah, That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you for pointing that out. Nice. Uh, people in the mm -hmm. chat arena, we love that about you. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna bring like a chalkboard and write down what I want to say and just hold it up from now on. <laughs> we'll just criticize your handwriting. True. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we could never. <laughs> uh, Bryce, basically, okay, so we had Bryce on on yeah. Wednesday, right? which was, I expected it to be good. It was a great episode. You know, he, yeah. he, he turned out to be a great guest. And uh, I feel that we bonded. Mm -hmm. You guys feel that we bonded? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel that you bonded. He opened up. He opened up. I got a lot of respect for people that grow up in that kind of way, you know, because it's yeah. so easy to make all these assumptions about people. And I think a lot of people would even assume that Bryce was like rich, just rich, white kid, whatever. But totally. he, he really, um, 
And like I would have never assumed that he was bullied. I feel like he's he was probably like the cool kid in school. That's, That's what, what I, I thought. Apparently thought. he lost a bunch of weight. Mm -hmm. I was bullied. He was bullied for his red hair. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> red hair. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I really think his dad abandoned him when he was two years old. Yeah. That's I think the worst it's right up there with one of the worst things a person can do, period, point blank. So you know, I'm with him. Mm -hmm. That being said, there was a great moment when Brad the Bull and at one point even Ryan Cavcav called in. <laughs> and uh, so he was he was building up like, yo, Brad wants to say what up to you. I was like, really? And so then he calls Brad up. He puts him on on video call and points him to me without <laughs> get it, preparing him. And I noted how he, I was like, oh, my God, he looks pissed. He looks so annoyed. And um Somebody isolated and oh. stabilized the phone so you can see what I saw. Uh -huh. And it's and it is great. So here he is, he sees me and he's like, hell no, dude. <laughs> I mean it's so good. That's what I saw. Nobody else saw it. Somebody in the comments of that thread suggested it be a button screen, and it's definitely gonna be yeah, a button I already screen. Told Dan we're gonna do that. Up, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to Dan. figure out what he's saying. He's saying like Dude, dang. Yeah, it's He's like, just dude, like, dude. dude. Like, he can't believe this no. shit. Dang. Some, some kind of exclamation, like, yeah. dude, what the fuck? Is it, t I mean, have you ever seen a more disappointed expression? <laughs> 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 He's like, hell no, dude. Even oh, with the glasses, you can Lord. see yeah. behind the those. Disdain. <laughs> Such a stud, though, isn't he? <laughs> so hot. Such a stud. God, he's good looking. I know. <laughs> oh, I would leave yeah. him. Sorry, Ula. <laughs> I would leave you. No, I wouldn't. Not even Anything for Brad. Right? Any I mean, he's Anything Brad the Bull. Yeah, and then here's the moment that I guess everybody really enjoyed. Right after that, uh, okay. Thanks. Actually, can you timestamp the whole... Uh, because I really like that whole interaction because he goes, get off the topic, please. Yeah. I said, we're moving on, Brad. Up. He goes, I hate that topic. Oh. Yeah, here, it's really good. Holy fuck. Kids. That dude has been busy. Yeah, and he, and they all start with BR. Really? Oh, that's all so the funny. kids start with BR. Oh, yeah, somebody, all... I said, who's else's name? How many BR names? And then everyone's like, uh, your son, Bruce. <laughs> Ethan has a whole son named Bruce. <laughs> said, fair point. <laughs> that is fair, boys. But when I was watching wow. it, my head also didn't even click. Really? Yeah, I have to admit. It's just not a common name these <laughs> days, Bruce, so it didn't strike me. But there's a lot of BR names. Brooks, Bruce, Brian, Bryce, Brett, Brian, Bradley, Bradley, Brianna, Brianna, yeah. Got oh. You. What are what other BR names are there? Brian. There's like Brandon. Wait, is Brand this the right spot? Brody. Um, no, where, where's the where's the um, Brandon? Timestamp of when Brad calls in Brooklyn. I'm looking for it. Right yeah, thank you, Dan. I've moved on. Brandon. <laughs> Thanks. Brantley. <laughs> oh, Brantley. Oh, Don't forget. Thank you, guys. Now I moved on past that already. Thank you, though. Braylon. Mm. Braylon? That's not a name. <laughs> Brinley. Brinley? I ain't never met a Brinley I'm looking before. at a list of VR names and there's some really weird ones. No one named Brinley. <laughs> the name of my high school uh, music teacher. Brinley? Brinley? Brinley. Or last name. Brinley. Hey, because yeah, this is I can't name. emphasize how deep lore this guy is. Yeah, we're live right now. Brad the Bull, the okay, legend. Hold on, hold on. God damn it, I can't. The stallion. All right, hold on, hold on. Bruno. Guys, Bruno. we moved on. We moved on. <laughs> Brogan. Brogan? That's not a name. Stop. Brittany. Did we say Brittany? We didn't say Brittany. That's actually Bridget. a good one. Bro. Bro. Brady? <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. We didn't talk to okay, Brad. Okay, let me, yeah, let me just... Brad. I'll, I'll, I'll call Brad real back. This is great because I can't... I'm, okay, fucking YouTube goddamn thing <laughs> with the in a long podcast, it just doesn't <laughs> keep... work. Playing the live right now. Brad, sound. That's the ten bowl, seconds. The... Okay, here we go. Okay, let, we've talked to okay, Brad. Okay, He's calling me, me just, Brad. I'll, I'll I'll call Brad real back. This is great because I can't emphasize how deep lore this guy. Yeah, we're live right now. Brad, okay, so, so Bryce is such a legend. He gets him on video call and he puts him right over. Yeah. Him. He has no idea what's going on. 
<laughs> and apparently Brad and Cav Cav are like best friends. Which yep. is interesting. Mm-hmm. By the way, Bryce... And Bryce is really friendly with them? No, they're his besties. Bryce doesn't give a fuck. He's like, he's, he's cool as hell like that. He's super honest, too. I like him. He's got good, he's got good traits. I like him. But, um, one thing I did learn from him was that Brad yeah. asked Cav Cav. Yeah. They were best friends before. And then, according to Bryce, I question this narrative. He says, Cav Cav... No, Brad asked Cav Cav, can I mm. date your ex wife mm-hmm. okay. and their best friend? Bro code. First of all, that's fucking crazy. Second of all, there ain't no way with that peace and love okay with it? that they weren't already fucking. Well. Bro, you can really gonna ask your best friend if you can fucking if you can date his ex wife? I mean, that's <gasps> wild shit. I mean, at least he asked, right? Okay, fine. I mean, am I am I alone on that? That's crazy. I mean, yeah, it's crazy, and I, I mean, it is a crazy scenario. The 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 timeline seemed like they were still in the process of getting divorced, mm. so like they weren't even like fully set. Like I could see mm-hmm. it five so years it very passed. Soon. Times have changed. Your change. best friend, your best friend. Let's just say hypothetically, mm. you and Ali break up. Your best friend comes and says, "Hey, I've got a, th- I've had a thing for her." Yeah, like can the, I ask her out the next day? And she says yes. I mean, yeah, how I would, weird I be, is that going to make you feel? Yeah, you know, obviously it's it, fucked up. It would yeah. be like friendship over. Yeah, right. Yeah, but then you start to wonder how long has this been going on? Mm. Right, they've been interested in each other, especially since again, it just seemed like it happened as they were breaking up. Basically. This divorce is fresh. Yeah, and by the way, let's not forget that we've seen photos of them all in bed together. <laughs> <laughs> right. I forgot. That, I, did, I did actually forget about that. Well, yeah, no, I didn't. Ryan is submissive. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. That's what I assume, yeah. So, you know, s- assumption, nothing's definite, but <laughs> that's his that's his shtick, man. He digs that. You know, mm. please Brad come fuck my wife. Mm. <laughs> and then fuck me. Mm. Yeah, I mean maybe he likes Maybe. I, I look, I'm just speculating here. I don't know. Well, why else would the all three of them be in a bed together? <laughs> Crazy. Well, uh, Ryan might. Oh, be, it's not crazy. It's a good ass time. He might be clean up. You know, <laughs> you never know. Here, what is this one? It says Jess and my third ex husband. Del, you do not call him that. Jess and my third ex husband, ex wife. Jess and my. That's his ex. That's Brad the Bull. On Valentine's Day, they all got together. He says, Jess. Right. Is that Jess? No, the Tell one in the hoodie. Okay, so that's his ex-wife. Yeah. And my third ex-husband ex-wife. Slash ex-wife. Just want to point something out. It looks like Brad has his arm around two of them. <laughs> I think I think Ryan is there for cleanup. <laughs> and to watch and to jerk off in the corner. Again, I speculate. And but that's not a definite. problem. That's not a problem. Not at all. I'm not kink shaming. <laughs> but that's his that's I, what he likes. Listen, here here's what I'll admit I'm guilty to. <laughs> I am personally very interested from a go- I I I'm a I'm interested in the public figure Ryan Kavanaugh, and I gossip and I qu- and I just speculate about his personal life. It's mm-hmm. it, it's it's fun, and he's just he you know it's mm-hmm. like a mega celebrity, and I want to know what's going on in their bedroom. It's none of my business, I know, but <sighs> is Brad the bull Israeli? Okay, Did I asked Brad. He says he's American, but he's Jewish. Yeah, yeah, because he looks just like your fucking brother. Like, on steroids, it's crazy, <laughs> dude. Yeah. There's a lot of differences, though. But Brad so is know. a very un-Israeli name. <laughs> Hold on. We asked chat, well, is this chat GPT-4? Did it Ryan Kavanaugh get it cucked is. by his wife? As an AI language model, I cannot provide real-time information <laughs> or gossip. It's important to respect people's privacy and avoid spreading rumors or false information. Shut up, you dumbass robot. You're a robot, idiot. You don't know idiot. anything. Shut up, stupid ass <laughs> fucking robot. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> fucking yes. loser. Yes. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah. <laughs> fucking go go apologize to someone who cares, bitch. <laughs> stupid ass <laughs> robot. I'm canceling my fucking membership. <laughs> I'm not here to get. I'm not here to get ethical uh, lessons from a goddamn right. Yeah. Computer chip. <laughs> 
All right, um, we have got to go to our ads, and then really? we have a guest calling in very soon. Oh, and yeah. we wanted to set them up before yeah. they called in, yeah. so okay. we should uh, get that ad done. And so, um, I didn't. Fit, let me just blast through this real fast. Sure. So, yeah, here it is. The bowl, the legend, the stallion. So that's that's when he looks super disappointed. The play-by-play here. In. <laughs> and then Bryce is like, "Oh, I fucked up." He looked pissed. <laughs> Dude, no, they were they, they keep playing the the bull sound, and I'm like, this guy's gonna get an ego. But no, we do we uh we we talked about it. It was very very short. Um, I just got a understanding of the beef, and now we're done. Yeah, we're moving on, Brad. Okay, he said. What's he saying? You know, on TikTok, uh, Love posted the clip, and he turned it up a lot. Mm. But he what he says is. Please do. I don't like the topic or okay. something like that, right? Okay. Uh, yeah. Is yeah. It up? yeah. Okay. And I said that's fair enough. Fair enough. Thanks, yeah. Brad. <laughs> I heard. Hey, Brad. <sighs> Thanks for taking care of her, bro. How do you Stop. do that? Stop. <laughs> Stop. It's not like that. Why? I'm complimenting him. <laughs> He's the bull, man. So that everybody loved that, didn't? Uh... Well, Ryan Kavanaugh. So. Ryan Kavanaugh. Yeah. <laughs> Did Bryce make it seem like Ryan Kavanaugh was interested in talking to you? Because he kind of brought that up, I said, but I don't I know. I don't think there's interest on either side, frankly, yeah. uh, to communicate. Yeah. I don't think it would be productive. It would be like the last episode of Frenemies. You know, it's like ir- irreclable. Ir- ir- yeah. Ir- Reputable. Ir- irreconcilable differences. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm. Oh my god. Um, I ate a burrito before the show, so don't feel bad for me. I'm full. Just already putting it out there because I know. All right, let me thank our say. sponsor. And then we have a really interesting call from this psychopath Florida, Florida man <laughs> who wanders the Everglades at night barefoot, harassing wild, deadly wildlife. Love. Maybe harassing isn't a good term. Yeah, I don't think he's harassing well, anybody. Well, because we've learned some more about him, and he, he definitely knows. He's a good uh, dude. He's, he's a, a good, good dude. dude. I don't mean to imply. I'm just, yeah. it's, it's almost like he's well, flirting I, with death. I say that because I had that thought as well. But now that we've learned more about him, it's actually pretty cool what he does. He's he's flirting with death is what yeah, I mean. He is flirting say. with death, though. He's fearless. So thank you to, uh, to our wonderful sponsor today, Shopify. Ooh. Love them. Shopify, we built our entire Teddy Fresh business mm-hmm. from day one on Shopify. Day one and forever. I will not even... Think about another place. No regrets. Mm-mm. In fact, it's one. I think it's the best decision we ever made. I think so, and I always recommend it to everybody. Yeah. So if you ever want to make a website, or specifically an e-commerce website, Shopify is the one place to do it. Honestly, um, that's a sale of another, a sound of another sale on Shopify. Ba bing. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a commerce platform that revolutionized businesses around the yeah. world. You know, if you're selling anything from clothing to freaking chocolate bars, mm-hmm. Shopify simplifies selling online in person mm-hmm. so you can focus on successfully growing your business. Um, it's crazy. They have everything. They've got like the processor. They've got like... Uh, the themes to set up a website, mm-hmm. it's so easy yes. to be up and running and accepting payments. It's the most and intuitive. Like Less than, you know, yeah, yeah it's intuitive. It's very intuitive. You don't need to know much ahead of the ahead of it. You, it. you can manage to start without knowing anything and learn as you go. I mean, we made it with like us and one person. Yeah. Easy. Shopify covers every sales channel from in-person POS system to an all-in-one e-commerce platform. It even lets you sell across social media marketplaces like TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. It plugs into everything. It's a pack packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth. Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand uh, without having to learn any new skills or design and code. The one thing I really like is they have an app uh, marketplace. Mm-hmm. And... People spend so much time, they're building up these incredible apps and services and add-ons Yes. that are invaluable. And you just click on the button, you add them. A lot of them are like services. You can get in touch with people. Um, mm-hmm. There's so much yes. 
for example, if you're in the business of clothing, there's an app for returns that makes right. the return process super easy. Or there's an app for back in stock <laughs> if you want people to sign up for when something is back in stock and right. it notifies them and notifies you how many people are waiting. Um, right, that's another good one. Endless crazy app. high end uh, like analytics apps, mm -hmm. and the thing, like I said, these apps are all like individual businesses with their own support team and stuff too. Yeah, they've got twenty four seven help and extensive business courses online too. Shopify is there to support your success every step of the way. Yeah, from a small business to a still kind of a medium small business. Medium feels like a big medium yeah what's incredible is that you know no matter how big you want to grow it shopify is there to empower you with the confidence and control to revolutionize your business i think there's there's i think billion dollar businesses are on shopify i mean i'm sure they are mm -hmm. now it's your time to get serious about selling and try shopify today this is possibility powered by shopify sign up for a one dollar per month trial period that's sweet. At Shopify.com slash after dark. All lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash after dark to take your business to the next level. Shopify.com slash after dark. All lowercases. One dollar a month trial period. Fantastic. Thank you, Shopify. We love you. This chicken's a little weird. It's like ground chicken. I didn't expect that. It is interesting. I think it's bussin' personally. You like the ground chicken? Yeah, yeah. I just didn't expect ground chicken. I don't think I've ever had that from Mexican Fucking restaurant. Fucking fried chicken. Fucking fried chicken, dude. <laughs> I gotta chew my food, Dan. <laughs> Dan is counting the seconds. Take your time. Thank you. All good. Alphas have a minute of dead air and they quietly chew their food. Mm-hmm. That's this what's is, up. This um, is Zach's original? This is a yeah, remake. Yeah, this is Zach. Yeah. Zach Very original. good. Mm-hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Feeling alpha. Okay, let's go. Feeling alpha today. Put one foot in. Take your right foot out. Now do it up. Both hands in the air. Feeling alpha. Feeling real good. Now spin around. Now jump in the air. Hop three times. Okay, let's go. Bounce. Everybody bounce. Alpha time. Now lean into your partner. Now lean away from your partner. Alpha, alpha, and stop. So today we have a... Um, the Everglades uh, guy here. Let's see. So this guy's name is Fishing Garrett. Fishing Garrett. Actually pretty popular on TikTok. He has 4 million followers. Um, and here, let me show you a couple examples of this guy. He's going to blow your mind. Hey, guys. This man goes into the wild Florida Everglades, Everglades which is swampland inhabited by crocodiles, by snakes. From Arizona? Alligators. <laughs> Al or alligators, snakes, spiders, every manner of dangerous, scary creature you can imagine. It's one of the more wild places in America. And this man goes around barefoot. Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm exploring the Florida Everglades. Well, that kind of startled me, not gonna lie. Oh but they're God. literally <laughs> everywhere. I found where all the swamp puppies hang out. You guys see all of those eyes? <gasps> well, it looks like I got myself surrounded by alligators again. Ah! It's kind of my fault, though, because I'm calling them up to me. But they're all still what? sweethearts, and I love every one of them. But you still got to watch your back. This bugger thinks I don't see him right here. Uh -huh. I'm watching you, buddy. Look at oh this. He's creeping God. up on Wait, me. How does he hey, do props that? to you, little fellow. You're pretty brave to get this close to me. <gasps> hey, Mr. Cottonmouth, did you just strike at me? Come on, we got to get you across the road. Cottonmouth is very Look at this little right? gecko. Where's your mama? Extremely, you don't yeah. look too happy with me. Oh, you oh got an God. attitude. Hey, I respect it. It's going to serve you well in the long run. Yoink. A gentle yoink. We got a scarlet snake. 
What a mighty impressive web you got here, Mr. Tropical Orb Weaver. Dang, this is a thick what? one. You want to crawl on me? He's insane. What? At least he appears to be to me. Oh my god. By himself, I think, too. You know what I mean? Like, if you disappear in the Everglades, nobody finds your body. You'll I, get eaten. I've never seen his TikToks. This is crazy. Yeah, here's another one. There's a whole bunch of them. I mean, this is just what this guy does. This hey is... guys, I'm in the Florida Everglades balancing on this slippery log. Check this out. Garrett. There's an alligator right underneath me. Hopefully I don't fall. He doesn't know I'm here yet. Juicy bullfrog. Yoink. What? What do you have to say for yourself, mister? <laughs> he is letting me hear it. Right here we got a yellow rat snake. They're a great native snake that we have here in the Everglades. He gave me a little kiss. Love these guys so much. Glad I could get them out of the road safely. I'm on a stroll looking for that 20-foot Burmese python. This alligator kept biting into the mud. I was wondering what he's doing. Turns out he's grabbing fish out of the grass. Really cool to see this feeding behavior. I ended up leaving him alone and letting him do his thing. Later, I hooted up these barred owls. Listen. You guys don't know by now, I can talk to animals. I ended up giving this one a juicy rat. Don't ask how I did all that, but he's happy now. Love you, buddy. You better love me back. Check out this leopard frog. Love you guys. How does it not move? How, why does it let him do that? How is he not getting hurt every day? I'm assuming he knows what he's doing. Yeah. I, I spoke to him uh, yesterday. He, he, he definitely knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. And wow. he, uh, he actually has a really good message. He wants to save animals. Uh, well, Zach, I'm going to talk to him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just leading it up. So that'll be great for him to explain to me. <laughs> Thank you. These have a lot of views, too. Damn. Um, another clip of him wandering and finding animals. Let's see. You know me just walking barefoot through the Everglades again. Look at this little gecko swimming away. So cute. He found cover. He's all safe. This isn't the mama, but I got really close to this gator. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get his attention. Oh, he sees me. I hope I don't blink. This green water snake was lighting me up. I don't know what Jeez, his issue is. Leading. I was being so gentle, but he wanted the smoke. This banded water snake is probably the most common snake to see out here. Often gets confused for a cottonmouth, but they're completely harmless. Now this is a cottonmouth, and check this out. A little banded water snake went right over the top of him. No, no. A He's cotton locked mouth. in on me right now. Those are like super It's, one of, it's one of the most deadly snakes, I think, in the world. Like lethal. Yeah, I'm looking it up right How now. How is um, he not dead by now? Florida Cottonmouth. First striped crayfish snakes I ever found. They move a lot after a big rain. Here's another clip of all those bugs. This Jesus, look at that, Yula. I probably swallowed a hundred in a He's so walking around into fucking my shirt. without was shoes so or pants. <laughs> Fuck me. It's compelling content. Mm -hmm. It's crazy shit. Right. I've never seen anything like it. Um, Cottonmouth has a powerful cytotoxic venom that destroys tissue and is considered more toxic than that of the cop copper head. The bite symptoms include severe pain, swelling, ecchymosis, and even though deaths are rare, they can leave scars that uh, lead to amputation. So that's Ooh, probably oh not God. what you want. No, no, not great. <laughs> I prefer to keep my limbs, thank you. Here, let's just click around here. When you're walking barefoot in the Florida Everglades, you always gotta watch your step. Could be a big old lizard right next. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> He's walking around in the swamp barefoot next to goddamn yeah. crocodiles, alligators. I don't know the difference. Alligator. They're all alligators in uh, Florida. In Florida, and what is the crocodile version? Is that um? Uh, uh crocodiles, I believe, are mostly in Africa. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong about it. maybe they're salt water, right? People are saying throughout uh, the tropics in Africa, Asia. Oh no, they are in the Americans, the Americas too. In the um, Everglades, uh, n it looks like there's a small population of some crocodiles in Florida, but they're mostly in Central America. They prefer coastal brackish saltwater right. habitats. Yes, yeah, so um. The people are calling him the Florida man, Steve Irwin. I agree with that 100%. <laughs> Is that the one that 
He's like discount, and I don't even mean this as an insult. He's like white trash Steve Irwin, basically. He's the guy who died. Uh, yeah. He's like the animal whisperer. The goat. And a stingray impaled him in legend. the heart. Yeah, he's a legend. legend. Everyone loves him. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, let me refresh this. When you're walking barefoot in the Florida Everglades, you always got to watch your step. Could be a big old lizard right next to you. He saw me and whipped around, and I can see the fear in his eyes. I love you, buddy. He ended up taking off like a rocket ship. Then later, I found this cotton. What? This thing is a stud. Look Poisonous. how fat he is. He's on a dirt oh road, so I'm going to move him so nobody runs him over. See you later, chunky boy. Well, also, well, well. What also, we have consider here? that he only has one free hand. Right, he's recording. <laughs> he's handling these snakes with one free hand. Oh my god. But like, also, why is he out there at night? Like, as if it wasn't already scary. That's the vibe. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of those animals are probably nocturnal. Mm. But it's also more fucked up, for sure. <laughs> you know, I, I want to tell him that I'm sure he knows what he's doing, but he's going to die. Mm -hmm. Like, he's going to die out there. <laughs> well, we'll I hope not. <laughs> he's just going to stop posting. I just, I just want to tell him. Yoink. It's a day gecko. I love these guys so much. Wow. He ended up taking a dump on me, but it's all good. This toke gecko doesn't know what's coming for him. Gave oh him the old God. reach around. Didn't even see it coming. What he ended up cussing me. Yeah. Not very happy with me. Their bite definitely packed the punch, and he got his revenge. Oh, so cool. He is letting me have it, barking every second. This one was very oh my vocal. God. Check out these stud toke oh. geckos. They're guys, so I'm going to be cool posting looking. some bangers soon. You're not going to want to miss them. So did he take those home? Because it looks like he was in a car there. He's just taking home geckos. Bringing home geckos, boys. Mommy got me some geckos tonight, boy. Here, I'll watch one more, then we'll bring them on. This one has freaking 20 million, dude. Hey, guys, don't forget your bug spray out in the Everglades. Oh. You may get a few oh insects on you. What? As long as you don't breathe, it's not too bad. Oh. Later that night, I took a little raw dog stroll through the Everglades. I like to get as far out there as I possibly can. I found these little hatchling geckos. This is not something you want to get close to when you're in the middle of the Everglades. And just as I thought, the mama's right here. This can be a baby? very sketchy situation if you don't know what you're doing. Mm. She is eyeballing me. Oh my god. She's letting the baby geckos swim away. Oh, they're so she's cute. she's standing right in between them. She ended up beelining right at me. Mm. Sometimes I push the limits on how close I can get, but I do know what I'm doing. Just like the last mama alligator I encountered, she's just doing her job and she needs her space. Wow. And this, ladies and gentlemen, why is barefoot? why they call them cotton <laughs> mouse. This is a defensive display telling me to keep my distance. They are so gorgeous. Oh they god. will not chase you. Just don't be in the way where they're trying to go. Hey guys, wow. don't forget your bug spray out of uh, His videos are you fucking amazing. They're so good. Here, I mean, I, I there's so many with so many views. Oh, all of them have like millions and millions. Let me watch one. Or let bring him on because he's waiting. But God, yeah. I could watch these. All right, I'll bring him in. So this is Fish and Garrett. That's right. Stand back. On the line with Fish and Garrett. Now, hopefully... hey guys, check out all these. Hopefully, uh, the service won't be a problem. We did test before, but he is out in the wilderness. Uh, mm -hmm. He is in the Everglades. <laughs> yes, so, <laughs> and uh, we tested it uh, right before the show, and his connection was okay. I just let him in, and it's pending. So, stand by. This man is out in the Everglades. Here, we'll, watch, watch, we'll watch more. more Everglades. I'm waiting for this. We're pros out there. It's not as easy as it looks. All right, time for some natives. This is an Eastern Hognose. I love these guys. I found him in Whoa. Central Florida. I've been looking for one of these guys for a while. He's so chunky. Uh, Aren't they adorable? This is huge. Yeah. Check out this six and a half foot long coach whip. This thing is so gorgeous. Super fast too. I can't forget the highly Whoa. venomous wow. Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake. The colors on this corn snake are wow. amazing. Look how red. That is beautiful. That you guys didn't know oh. about this one. Wow. This oh. is a rainbow whip tail and they're invasive. That's so cool. Looking. Oh my god. Oh, he says they're invasive, which means he slammed it on a rock right after that. <laughs> that he squeezed that. its guts ah, out. In his hand. Hey, if this man's about nature conservation, you gotta, you gotta oh, get rid of them, <laughs> them invasive species. Let's ask him about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, he may have been eaten. Uh, <laughs> he may have been eaten. His uh, phone is at the bottom of the swamp currently. Uh, working on getting him on the line. Hey guys, I'm in the Florida Everglades. Check out this invasive spectacle caiman. Me and my buddies just wrangled up. Invasive caiman. What? Another Everglades like video. Check out this big 10-foot gecko. 
You gotta watch. Where I'm in the Everglades. Hey guys, I'm hiking. Hey guys, I'm. Hey guys, I'm. In Just guys, exit. Hey guys, hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. You can see based on the thumbnail. Here, this is. Hey guys, one. I'm in the Florida Everglades. Check out this invasive spectacle came and me and my buddies just wrangled up. Look at all the details. This Burmese python was fast, but not fast enough. Uh. Huh. This little guy really thought he could escape fishing Garrett. Check out this juicy land crab. This thing has a what? monster claw. Whoa. This is a hatchling Burmese python. And this is a monster Burmese <gasps> python, almost 16 what the feet. Ah. What? Come on, I was checking out man. this 10-foot alligator, and he got awfully close. I didn't realize how many were watching. Uh, and that's not there's probably 50 to 60 in this small canal. <laughs> this eastern screech owl. Wait, this how does he get so close to an owl? That doesn't even make Why sense. Why is that scarier than any other animal? <laughs> really? Oh, I think he's so cute. Oh, no, it's, I agree oh. with you, but... Up like, close, it's different. But how could he get so close? It doesn't make sense. These animals are yeah. hyper aware of their environment. Yeah. He's but a dumbass. Dumbass owl. The owl's an L, L, yeah. L, L. Look at him, dude. Looks so stupid. L, L, L. Come on, guys. Come on. No owl slander. Come on, guys. I love owls. I'm just saying this one's kind of dumb. They're so cool. Look at those big eyes. Yeah, I'm just saying this one's kind of dumb. Look on his face. Oh, come on, idiot. Come on, idiot. L, L. Stupid. Another Everglades video. Check out this big 10 foot gecko. You got to watch where you're walking around here. A scorpion just crawled across my swamp stompers. Check out this invasive Cuban nidinol. So pretty. Look at these freshly hatched scarlet snakes. They're so gorgeous. Danger noodle. That's an eastern diamondback making Danger a quick noodle. escape. Check out this brown water snake. He's native and he's eating an invasive walking catfish. So cool to mm. see this. Right here we got another native green water snake. They're non-venomous. Love these guys. He's bleeding. He's got <gasps> blood on his hand. Oh, he got bit. Yeah. He already has blood on his fucking knuckles. Yeah. This guy, uh, does not have fear. No. Another Everglades go video, check out this His big, brain right here we got another native function. green water right. snake. They're non-venomous. Love these guys. He gave me a little kiss. <laughs> 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 that dog on my arm a few months ago, that was just yeah. like that. Pretty incredible guy, I gotta say. He needs a show. Where's Discovery at? Yes. I think Agreed. he's too dangerous. Mmm. They would not be okay with this. Steve like, Irwin used conditions. to get bit all the time. I think that he needs a show. I think so. I mean, it, he technically has got it already here on TikTok. That's true. That's fair. I mean, the Look views at the are views, crazy, yeah. Guy. Let's see. I want to see what he looks like here. I can see him. Hey, guys. Oh. Today, I'm taking my baby coons down to the pond. It's important that baby raccoons get to play in water. They definitely learned how to follow their He's mama. He's got baby and raccoons. Getting bigger what? and They're stronger. so cute. It's important that they get to play in the water Aww. and learn how to catch oh little crustaceans God, and fish, it. as they would in the wild. They're more focused on getting to their mama. And you guys are probably wondering, are there alligators in there? Yeah, <gasps> but I spot them every time. This is just a little two-footer. My little trash pandas are getting cuter by the day. Very hey young. guys, today I'm taking my baby- Okay, um, what? Who has baby raccoons? Yeah. Mm, those. <laughs> and they follow him. So cute. I love okay, that. Um, he may have fixed his service. I got him in the lobby, so I'm gonna let him in. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Hopefully it works this time. Come on. Oh. Big news. Big news. Hey, what's up? Hello. Garrett. I finally got internet, man. It just <laughs> dropped all of a sudden. Fishing Garrett, what's wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh man, I just love my swamp puppies. What can I say? Are you fearless? <laughs> Do you ever get scared out there? Yeah. Uh, not not with that kind of stuff because I grew up doing it my whole life, so it's pretty it comes naturally. I'm not worried about that kind of stuff at all. Maybe with some other animals that I haven't experienced before, because I wouldn't know the behavior, I wouldn't know what to expect, and that would act, make me act a little bit more cautious. So around but pretty, the... yeah, I'm not, I'm not scared out there at all, really. Around the gators, around the snakes, you're not afraid because there are poisonous snakes out there. I mean, but you're you're so confident that they're. You're gonna see them. You're you're never gonna, you're never gonna have an accident. You don't think? Um. Yeah, I totally could. If I, I could easily make a mistake out there. It just takes one wrong move. Even with like with all the experience in the world, all it takes is one wrong step, and I could step on one. But I trust myself that I <laughs> that I won't do that. But, so they you know, they they wouldn't go out of their way or, to attack you. Oh, absolutely not. No. Mm. They're very, they're very calm, and a lot of people have a misconception that, like, cottonmouth, for example, that's like the main snake I see out there. That's like very abundant, something that you'll run into a lot. They, um, they're just defensive. So you'll walk up to it, and it'll coil up, 
and then open its mouth and do a defensive posture. And it's not trying to attack you or come after you, but sometimes people will walk up to them and they'll scare them. And the snake doesn't know what's going on. And it's just trying to get cover, trying to hide. And it'll shoot right under their feet. Oh. And they think it's after them. You know what I mean? I see. Yeah, they're like, oh my God, the snake attacked me. It just went after me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, that, yeah, a lot of people get worried you know, when they see that. But it's just them not being familiar. But I always try to tell people that snakes don't chase you. It doesn't happen. Mm. Why do you do it barefoot? <laughs> oh, I've always, I've always liked being barefoot. I get better grip. Like right now, for example, here, I'll switch the camera. I'm walking on these sharp rocks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, just, I just love being barefoot. It's, it's really comfortable for me. I get better traction. I'm not always barefoot. There's some situations where you just absolutely have to wear shoes. Mm. But I prefer to be barefoot. That's incredible, dude. Have you ever had any close calls? Like, what's the the most harrowing experience you've had out there? In the Everglades, exactly. Or I mean, not, nothing too crazy in the Everglades. I've had some, I've had some really close calls with alligators, but that's just me. That's just me handling them. Like, and I don't show this in TikTok a lot, but when I actually handle alligators, like I I actually can catch them, you know, and handle them. I don't always put that on TikTok. Mm -hmm. But because I'll get banned, you know, they're, they're very sensitive with the community guidelines. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I get some really close calls doing that sometimes, but it's so, not too bad. So is this, got, this is what you do for fun? You just cruise out there? I mean, what, what, why, yeah. you, why, do, why are you doing it? Oh, I just love it. I've done it my whole life, man. I'm out there. The main reason I'm out in the Everglades is to remove the invasive Burmese pythons. So okay. I'm sure you've heard of the, the giant pythons that are invading the Everglades. So I go out there, and the main goal is to find these invasive pythons and remove them out of the ecosystem. Okay, wow. interesting. What do you do with them? So by law, you have to humanely euthanize them. Really? But I, yeah, if I can legally get away with keeping them alive and rehome them to someone that can keep them, then mm -hmm. I'll do that. But it's not always an option for me, and I have to, you know, I have to keep myself out of trouble, but... I, I'm always looking after the animal. It's not their fault. You know, it's people's fault because they released them. Oh, wow. Like, how do you euthanize a snake? I personally don't do it. I oh. have someone else do it. Oh, I, okay. I hate killing them. I feel bad. Yeah. Um, you have to destroy the brain, and that's like the quickest death form. So like a <laughs> knife behind the head or oh, anything that will. Yeah, yeah, something like that. And I hate that, man. I don't like doing that. Mm -hmm. So why is it so important to get these snakes out of the Everglades? Because they're eating all of the small mammals. So since the 80s, we've received a 90% decline on small mammals. So mm. raccoons, possums, foxes, even the Florida panther. So we, yeah, panther? we're running really low. Huh? Uh, the pythons will kill panthers? Oh, yeah. A big 17, 18 footer could easily Holy take down a panther. Holy crap. Especially wow. their cubs. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, they, they eat. <laughs> when the researchers uh, cut them open, they find deer hoofs in them. They eat full grown deer. Whoa. Wow. So, how yeah. the hell do you get rid of an 18 foot snake? Oh, I come up right behind it and I yoink it, pick it up. <laughs> it's... And it's going to fight back. They're very, very powerful. But if you're used to working with snakes and you understand how to do it, you can you 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 are capable of catching a pretty big snake. Not me. With no experience. Not me. Yeah, yeah. If you, could, if you have the confidence, you don't you know me. It, I've been watching you since I was little. I think oh, I know thank you. Oh, really? Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So, man, I go ahead. I've been watching you guys ever since, like back back in the day with the iDubs and all that. I love you guys. Oh, thanks, oh my God. Man. Well, you're you're awesome. I yeah. love you. You're your so videos cool. are amazing. Yeah, your videos are fr are. So really unique and so it's wild, it. man, and uh, so cool. You, um, you were you were going on about uh, the invasive snakes. You're saying they're eating. W why is it important to keep the mammals? Because it's the the Florida Everglades is a one of a kind ecosystem, and it's really important mm -hmm. to keep everything in check, everything natural. When you start taking all these animals out of the food chain, it ruins the balance. Like right now, like. When you when you get rid of these mammals, it just it um, messes with all the other animals too. And we have all kinds of invasive fish. I feel bad for these alligators because the pythons eat most of their food, and now they're resorted to just eating invasive fish. Mm. And you'll see in my videos where the alligator will bite in the mud. They're trying to catch these minnows because when I shine a light around them, it scares the fish into them, and then they catch them. 
Oh, you're you guys are working <laughs> together, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to help them out, and you're you're technically, you know, you're not. A, you really shouldn't feed alligators, but that's like a natural mm-hmm. way to get them food without them knowing it's from me. Mm-hmm. Like if I walked up to it, if I walked up to the alligator and handed it a fish, you know, that alligator would remember that, mm-hmm. and he would associate people with food, and that can make them very dangerous because whenever he sees a random person, he's gonna swim right up to them, mm-hmm. not to eat them, but just because he knows that person. When he gets close to him, he gets food. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't he so try to go- eat? Why wouldn't an alligator try to eat a person? Generally, they don't see people as food, man. They they rely on movement to feed. So he mm-hmm. might see my leg moving, and they they'll respond to any kind of movement. Like I could get a stick and splash it in the water, and he'll come right up to it because he thinks it's something he can catch. They're very mm-hmm. opportunistic, and they'll take down just about anything they can get their mouth on. And what about like these big ass eighteen footers? Why why aren't they eating people? Oh, uh, they're man, they're uh, you'll hear that they're everywhere and everything, but they're not that easy to find. They're very reclusive. They hide deep deep in the swamp, and they don't always come out. So it really takes professionals to find these things. And they don't really they don't they do show up in people's yards and stuff sometimes, but they don't really take you out. They'll take out your cat or dog or something. Mm. Maybe a small child. If you had a small child, that could happen. But it ha- I, as far as I know, it hasn't happened yet. Jesus, that's scary. And so when you, so there's a lot of these snakes out there. It seems like they're reclusive, like you said, but this is like a huge invasion of them. Oh, yeah. There's more than, um, there's more than FWC says for sure. They say there's, uh, I think, over 100,000, but I'm, I'm very confident oh, there's shit. more. More that's than 100,000? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm very confident. Very confident there's lots more than that. Just because you don't find them, like I can come out here during the wrong time of year in the wrong climate and not find any for weeks. But if I go during the right time, you could find a bunch. Mm-hmm. It's just I know how good they can hide and how easy they can go undetected. So I just know how many. I know there has to be way more than 100,000 according so, to our numbers. A lot of a lot of the numbers we catch aren't um, – I don't always glorify how many pythons I'm killing. I don't like it. Mm-hmm. But, we're, yeah, a lot more than I show on social media. How many do you think you're catching? You can be honest with us. <laughs> but you're doing um, you're doing a good got, thing, we, right? I mean, it's me, nothing me and my sh- buddies. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I just just don't like I just don't like killing snakes, man. But mm-hmm. it has to be done, man. Uh, even some of the yeah, even some of the greatest animal lovers come out here and try to help out. Mm. Are you guys? But do you want to know? You want to know what a bigger problem is than yeah. the pythons? Yeah. Florida is building houses at such an alarming rate right now. They are wiping out all the natural ecosystem. Oh. Oh wow. Yeah, it's really really sad. Like I grew up, I grew up in Southwest Florida, and I everywhere I go now is huge construction sites. So all the eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, all of the other um, endangered animals, like even the Florida panther, all of its habitat is messed up because they need really really big pieces of property and land to travel to breed and stuff. So it's really sad to see Florida go downhill like this with so much, so much land development. And they Which don't. I'm, I'm all for. I'm all for building houses, but they just need to really limit on where they're building houses. So there's no like nature um, reservation kind of. There is, but they there's not enough. Mm-hmm. The, you can't just make a square of like. Uh, you can't just make a square of conservation land. And expect it to just be perfect because these animals need huge areas, mm-hmm. especially the panther. The panther travels like 100 miles. They can travel really, really far. And so, so when you make a big square of land, a lot of these animals just end up crossing out of that, going to people's yards, going into the road mm-hmm. and getting killed. It's mm-hmm. yeah. pretty sad. So what are these land developers doing? They just scooping out the swamp land and just putting in like... They, they're regulated by the government and FWC and everything, but it doesn't matter as long as you have the money, you know, you can always get things done. And it's a shame. But how do they do it? Because it's swamp land, right? There's a way to... They, they just remove... Not, not just in the Everglades, mainly the more uplands of Florida, just oh. like Florida as a whole. Okay. Mm. They go in there and they wipe out all the trees. Sometimes they leave a few trees, you know, because it looks pretty to some people. But for the most part, everything goes. Mm-hmm. I actually work for um, an environmental company called Wetlands Management. So we manage swamps and wetlands. We remove invasive plants. We do wildlife surveys. We do gopher tortoise removal surveys. So we go around and we, we uh, relocate these burrowing gopher tortoises and keep them from getting killed from the land developers. And they have to pay for it, the land developers. Okay. But I, I hate seeing it. That's how I know um, what's really going on, you know, behind the scenes. Mm. That. So what would you like to see done in terms of housing? I mean, 
There's like massive I, housing great. shortages across the country, right? Yeah. What should we be I doing? I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see them building more around the cities and just like less building in certain areas. Yeah, it's really hard for me to say exactly what they should do. You know, I don't have all the answers. I just know it, it's out of control. Mm -hmm. I know one of the problems here in LA is that they're not building up enough. Uh, I don't know if that's a problem. And, you know, you look at Manhattan or New York, for example, you have millions of people, you know, because they build up. They have really tall buildings. And I don't know. I don't know if that's an option. Yeah. But yeah, that could that could totally be an option. Yeah. And, you know, go to places like Tampa or Miami, they build up. So are you guys making headway on, on the snakes, uh, the invasive snakes there, you and all oh, the people? No, dude. You're never, we're never going to get rid of them. The only thing we can hope to do is control them. I see. Just control the population of them. And so like, is it being done by like volunteers like you or is there some kind of there uh, is, state? A lot of it doesn't, a lot of it doesn't get mentioned. Like a lot of it doesn't get mentioned, but there is a lot of people like me removing them. Really? Mm. Yes, sir. But yeah, they have they have professional Python contractors with um, with the water management district, and they go and they have a group that goes and removes them, and FWC has a group that goes and removes them. I see. Do you think the? I wonder because I know, you know, in my city where I'm from, yeah, Poland, in Israel, there's a lot of building up mm -hmm. to the point where people always complain about it because it's so ugly, and it's so cl it feels claustrophobic. Like it's buildings next to buildings next to buildings. But I guess in a way, it's what you got to do. It's just Israel is so tiny. You don't really have an option. Well, then stop having. Then you got to stop having kids. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to build up. <laughs> yeah. You know. Then stop I, fucking. I love people, but you know, I love the animals too. I want to keep them. I want to keep them around. I've just mm -hmm. slowly seen it get worse and worse over the years. So, what's the worst case scenario? Do you think if you got if these populations go unchecked? Oh, there are. F, um, FWC is already doing that as we speak. There's more than just pythons that are invasive. You know, um, have you ever heard of the green iguanas or tegus? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, you have? The, the green iguanas? Oh, I never yeah. heard of that. The green iguanas are all over, and FWC just made them illegal to possess. Oh. So the only thing you can do is kill them. Wow. Which sounds okay, but now that gets rid of thousands of people that collect these babies and sell them to other people out of state and give them a home out of oh. state where they couldn't survive. So they would have to be taken care of in captivity. So now nobody's doing that, and now the populations are going to go way out of control, especially with the tegus too. Oh. So you think that there's some mismanagement there on the on the government level? Oh yeah, level, there's the definitely level? there's definitely the wrong people in charge. I don't know who to blame, but it's definitely See, definitely not being done right. It seems like the state I, of Florida specifically is very pro business, and I would assume I don't know, but like not very. Uh, environmentally forward, mm -hmm. conscious, whatever, you know? I Yeah, I think a lot of places really aren't when it comes down to it. I think everything, even if they, they may say they are or whatever, they may promote that they are on, like, the news or whatever, when it comes down to it, they're all controlled, and they're, you know, it's all about money when yeah. it comes down to it, from what I've experienced, at least. Let me look around. Show me the show me where you're stomping around there. <laughs> I'm walking in a circle right now because I got, I got up to these woods and I don't want to walk in and lose internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Here, let me flip it around. Yeah. So you have baby... So I'm looking, um, around, I'm looking yeah. around these rocks for maybe a python or a rattlesnake or something cool. Huh. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. I really wish I, could, really wish I could find something for you guys, but all my good spots have no internet. Uh, <laughs> That's all That's right. That's why I don't do TikTok lives. Wherever you are is the good spot. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um... Do you accept the moniker of uh, Florida Steve Irwin? <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't want to be. I don't want to be exactly. Like, I don't want to be Steve Irwin. See, I love Steve Irwin, but everyone throws out this guy Steve Irwin. If you just pick up a snake, it doesn't even have to be me. So, I kind of want to be my own person, but I love Steve Irwin. I don't think anyone can live up to his level with wildlife. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to get close to it. I stand for the similar things. Well, your, so, your yeah. TikTok is in, insanely successful. The views you're getting there are nuts. I wonder if there's anyone uh, reaching out to you to. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a lot of different people reaching out. Okay. I need help. I really, I'm kind of a caveman on the phone. I really don't know what I'm <laughs> doing. I just make little TikTok videos. Because I think. Um... 
I see that for you. I see that potential for you. Oh, I think he was eaten. Thank sure. you. I really appreciate <laughs> it. Okay. Well, if you need help, we can help you out. I mean, I know how to talk. Yeah, to I would people. love to travel. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> if you need to, if you have questions yeah, really or something, that. or if you if you want, uh, I don't know how much connections I have, but I can help <laughs> you however I can. If whatever, if you have <laughs> questions about shit. Oh man. I I would really appreciate that. I would just like to, I would like to get off of TikTok at some point because it's mm. mainly entertainment. I like to educate, but I can't really get into depth with the, with the um, education side. Because mm -hmm. every time I try to, it doesn't work real well with the views and the algorithm. They just like fast uh, action, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I try to get that entertainment, but also give them a little bit of knowledge too, if I can. Have you tried YouTube? Uh, not really, not yet. I, I really mm -hmm. need to. I really need to. I don't know how to. I don't know how to make videos. Oh man, you would but take off there. Well, I think mm -hmm. you're filming, so just... You're so good at your TikToks, I I think it'd be, you know, easy for you. Just I pass feel like... the footage to an editor. We can find you an editor. We can hook you up. Yeah, yeah. I would really, I would really appreciate that. Because I, I really don't know what I'm doing, you know, I'm just a guy with the camera. Oh dude, you have a YouTube for shorts? Do you have a YouTube channel and post shorts there? Yeah, yeah, I have like 4K subscribers. I made a YouTube okay. and I posted a few things on it, but I don't really know what I'm doing. I just well, you should post shorts. the same TikTok videos to YouTube. They'd crush there too. You think so? Definitely. I see everyone else is crushing with my videos. <laughs> oh, they're reposting your shit? Oh yeah, dude, they're, they're, they're making bank, dude. Good for them. <laughs> Well, good for you. We got to get you coming, yeah. dude. I, I don't mind. I, I used to make me upset when I would see people would get a lot of views and I'm just like, no one tagged me, but I don't care anymore. I'll get recognized by it eventually. I mean, <laughs> it's true. It's all your content. But I do think yeah. that uh, it'd be really easy to convert. Hey, tell me what pets you have. <laughs> I actually don't have a lot right now. I did rehabilitate. So, you know, we had that Hurricane Ian come through. Mm -hmm. Dude, it hit Englewood, Florida so directly. It. Like, I, I uh, live on 20 acres there. My family has property over there, and it devastated that whole area so bad, man. Wow. So I got, a, I got a lot of people bring me baby raccoons. I rehabilitated a lot of animals, like almost any, any animal you can think of. <laughs> so I had baby raccoons for a while, and they've, been, they've completely grown up. And I was banned on TikTok for seven months, so I didn't do any updates or videos with them or anything. But oh, I had wow. some raccoons, and now they're in the wild. Why did you get banned? For doing dangerous stuff? I don't know. I posted, oh, I posted a crab video, these big giant land crabs that are in the Keys, and then that got banned, and then I posted a fishing video, like a short fishing video, and then that got banned, and then they just oh. deleted my whole Fucking wow. hell, And then dude. I didn't, they were so bad with uh, helping me, like, help, like, reaching out, I could never get a good answer from them, and I could never, like, predict what would happen with my TikTok every day. Every time I post, I'm, like, shaking, I'm, like, oh, <laughs> this could be it. <laughs> That's, but, you but, know, I but, love TikTok. They've been, they've been a lot but... better. But that is the scary thing about it, dude. But you know, with TikTok's uh, future in an uncertain spot, we got to make sure you get somewhere where you can yeah. Uh, diversify. Yeah, you got to diversify, dude. Yeah, yeah, I really need to. I'm, I'm gonna have to move to YouTube or something else. I don't know exactly. I'm so I'm not very good online. <laughs> not gonna lie. We'll I talk. Can just make... We'll talk. We'll figure it out. We're gonna help. Yeah, We're gonna... I, I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's I have some, easy. I have some big plans. I want to go to the Amazon rainforest. Oh, the Congo. oh wow. I want... Actually, I was planning on going to on a trip to Peru with some buddies, and we're going to look for green anacondas, and we're going to do research Holy on them. shit. Wow. That's crazy. So I'm going to help out some researchers and... Just film uh, everything. See, see just, just film everything. Yeah, dude. I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Even if you don't know what you're going to do with it or where mm -hmm. you're going to put it, just film everything. Oh, I will. Man, there's a whole lot of content I don't post. <laughs> <laughs> there's... Trust me, man. I've been, I've been uh, doing this ever since I was little. There's so much I don't record and post, like... That's the difference between me, because a lot of these people, like, they have exotic pets, and they can always make content, but they didn't start when they were young. You know, they weren't handling real wildlife. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's definitely a big difference with that. I just hope I can capitalize on it and uh, better help the ecosystem and promote wildlife properly. Um, I think that's the beautiful thing, is that you also have a good message with, like, amazing content. So I yeah. think it's great. Yeah, yeah I man, really dude. appreciate it. You are I'm actually the man. Posting, I'm actually posting a TikTok right now. I had a crazy night in the Everglades, man. I got bit by a water scorpion when I was... So I was standing next to this 10-foot alligator, and he was under the water, and he was right by my foot, and he was looking at my foot, so I'm watching him. And I take a step back, and I step on a water scorpion. It bites me on the leg. And I was like, ow, what the heck bit me? And I look at my foot, and it's bleeding. Look uh -huh. up a water scorpion or, like, toe biter. I'll pull it up. And you'll see, the, you'll see this crazy-looking bug. <laughs> 
You, so you're not scared when an alligator is just chilling like right next to you? No, no, I, I'm watching him, and I can I can judge his body language. If he wanted to get me, I could for pretty pretty certainly guarantee if he was gonna lunge forward. Like I'll even watch the back legs. Like let's say mm-hmm. it, let's say he does want to lunge for me. He's gonna position himself to lunge. So I'll see that positioning by judging his body language, and then know. Oh, I better watch the watch mm-hmm. the fuck out. <laughs> is this the thing that got you? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Ah. That's fuck it. that, dude. Dude, that thing that thing <laughs> has a a wild sting. So this I'll little tip. One- that's fuck that bug, dude. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay, <laughs> yeah, it's a little devil for sure, man. I'm always paranoid about them. It's like, like you think I'm worried about the alligators? I'm worried about stepping on one of those because I want to see it come. So is this your is this your arch nemesis out there? Would you say? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Especially during the rainy season, they're they're everywhere, and I just what step the? on them left and right. Uh, Yo, dude. I think I build up a tolerance oh. to the to the to the bite and the poison, but it's still still pretty wild. Is this the same bug? Yeah, that's it. Oh the my fuck? god. Dude, That's it, man. Hell no. Yeah, dude. <laughs> they're, they're, they're intimidating. Yeah, so um I don't like that for you. I'm looking <laughs> at this bug still. <laughs> our, our live chat don't is worry. like yeah, freaking I'll out over it right now. I'll catch one. I just don't want to step up and on them. It's okay. Have them. So Here's what I want to, I, I, I need you. Did I lose it? Can you hear me? We had a little, uh, we lost a little reception there, but I think we're good. I need you yeah. to diversify, and I need you to get some kind of show, especially with medics, so they can go with you so you don't die. <laughs> because I'll be honest, bro, I know you're like a pro, but like something's going to happen, right? Don't you feel like eventually something's going to go wrong? Something could. I'm going to try my best not to. I, ne- I never really get hurt, but yeah, I could totally make a mistake. And I doubt it would be with alligators. It'd probably be with venomous snakes. If you look at my Instagram, it's the same name, Fishing Garrett. It has uh, pictures of me holding eastern diamondback rattlesnakes up to my face. And that's mm-hmm. far more dangerous than the alligators. Because if I got bit by that, that would kill me so fast. <laughs> Why would you put it to your so face why then, do you dude? Do that? I, don't do that. Because I, know I, because I love it. It's stupid. I don't recommend people doing it. <laughs> but it's just something I like to do. I love them. I know it. I I know I'm not gonna get bit by it. I could, but I'm judging the behavior. Like I said, you know, just like Steve Irwin did. Steve Are Irwin you... never got bit by a snake. He got That's bit. True. He, he got sting, the stingray came out of nowhere. That was like a freak accident. Mm. And it's... see something like that could happen to me. That's true. But it's, it's what... amazing. Yeah. How many animals he handled without getting bit? Right. He's far b- above me with that. With way more venomous snakes. Like, it won't last 10 minutes if you get bit by some of the snakes he was handling. Oh, he was doing even crazier shit, huh? Yeah, for sure, man. He, than anyone. But I, I think I could, uh, I would totally handle some of the crocodiles and do all that stuff that he does. I haven't really seen him do anything that I wouldn't do. But I would need to experience the animal more before I'm confident in doing that. Mm-hmm. I could always wing it, but, you know, I don't want to die too mm-hmm. quick. No, don't wing stuff. Please, dude. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm 23. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, you got a lot of time, dude. Oh, you're on my yeah. Instagram. Did you yeah. see the? Yeah, we're seeing you the, see the video where I stick my hand in the alligator's mouth. Oh, I did no. just see that here. I Wait, pull it up. That pull was up. actually a very long time. That was a very long time ago when I did that one. And this is a wild. I was alligator? doing that when I was like 12. Dude. Yeah, you, yeah, that's a wild do alligator. Do your parents get scared? I don't for you? really work with. Uh, you pulling that up, Dan? Mm-hmm. They, yeah, they used to. They used to, but I think they they've gotten over it. Why My mom's used to that? it. She used to get all worried, but yeah. she's okay now. That's just a, <laughs> that's just like usually when people do this, it's like a trained animal. Actually, so when they do oh it with God. when they do it um with uh, when they do it with the alligators that are in the farms and everything, it's the exact same thing. The alligator is still full, like will still bite you the same way as a wild one. A wild one will just be more jumpy, and sometimes not broken in, and sometimes react differently. But when it comes to that bite, it's all the same. Yo, you would crush on Facebook, too. I have no question the boomers would eat that shit up, brother. <laughs> God, I can't believe you're sitting on, like, this content empire. I mean, look how good it, good it does on TikTok. What do we do? What are we going to do for him? Yeah. What can we do for him? I would like to get financially stable. I live in a trailer right now. Are really? You, are you making a little bit of money from TikTok with those views? I know it's not a Dude, lot. I... I think the past past month I've been back, I've made maybe maybe 10K, not nothing crazy. Over what period of time? 
over the past like two and a half months. Oh, I heard something. There's something right over here. Take me. <laughs> oh, man. Take me. I hope it's a panther. I can't. It's a little. Uh... Sorry, what were you saying? No, I was just listening to you. Uh... <laughs> so I'm walking around. I'm looking. What did you think? What do you think you heard out there? I don't know. I've had some crazy experiences out in the woods before. Like, I know every single animal sound. I know exactly, like, when I hear a noise, just by the bushes rustling, I can usually tell you what it is, just by how the bush bushes rustle. Because certain animals walk a certain way through the woods, and you can recognize that after a long time of experience. And I've heard some crazy noises before that I can't tell you what they were. Mm. Like, I've heard screams, like, no. deep, like, guttural screams, and... Weird, like wood knocking, and it's real suspicious. Does that freak you out when you hear something you don't know what it is like that? Yeah, it 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 does it does make me worried because I don't know what it is, and I'm curious, and I want to get closer and figure out what it is. Because if I could get a video of whatever I'm hearing, that would be awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. Do the um? I have a question. Do the pumas out there? Do they have like that crazy scream? Um, it, here in California, we have mountain lions, which I know are like related. And they, yeah. like, when they scream, it sounds like a woman <laughs> being like murdered with a knife. It's like <laughs> the craziest sound. Yeah. Ever. I've heard them fighting in the woods before and it is insane. And it took me a while to figure out exactly what it is because it's such a rare sound to hear two fighting. Right. Because they're already rare animals in general. So to hear two fighting was crazy. And that took me a minute to figure out what it was. But I, uh, you know, I eventually did. But no, they, they make, uh, the Panthers here make a little bit of a different sound, and it's not too common to hear um, them being very vocal. They usually do little chirps, little mm. chirp sounds to communicate. Mm. Cute. Dude, you are, yeah. <laughs> you are the man. You are so talented and brave and knowledgeable. I want good things for you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Man, I, I'm, like I said, dude, <laughs> I've been watching you since I was a, a little kid. So it's really great to meet you. I'm like, oh, I want to meet that guy one day. I want to meet you, I Dove, Filthy Frank. Yeah, those, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those were the days, man. Those, those were. were the yeah. days. Hey, listen, um, who's it? Zach, you're in touch with them? Uh, yeah. You guys have email? Okay. Um, let's, we, let's chat afterwards. We'll see mm -hmm. what we can do for you. I want to yeah. help you out. Yeah, I agree. I, I can't wait to, like, go and follow you and watch all your videos yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you so much yeah yeah hey well, um if you guys ever have me on at night and i'm in a certain situation i can basically give you a whole TikTok, but in, <laughs> over the live oh that would That's be great crazy yeah I'd yeah love that. we could it'd be very easy to set up as long as it's nighttime like because a lot of the all my action all the action out here in the everglades happens at night okay i was going to ask why you do it at night but i'm i'm assuming that's right that's everything's nocturnal is. like did you know, like deer and rabbits and almost every mammal, they're all nocturnal. Oh, deer no, I and rabbits. Yeah, deer, are very, deer, rabbits, they're all nocturnal. Wow. Of course, deer come out. That's why hunters will hunt them early in the morning because they're coming out, you know, because that's when mm. the deer are still out, and then right before dark because that's when they start to come out. Mm. Huh. So we're the only idiots so, walking around in the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of python hunters that don't know, they're out here in the middle of the heat of the day when all the snakes are hiding, and they're out here just looking away. I try to help them out. <laughs> what do you think about this wild animal right here? Oh, that's cute. It looks like it's gator food. Yeah, I was going to say, do you think he'd survive in the Everglades? <laughs> oh, no, man. He wouldn't make it a day. Yeah. You know what he would happen a to him first? A car, a car would hit him, dude. People run over all the wildlife here. It's so disgusting. Mm. Is there a sign? Like, I just saw a 10, I just saw a 10 foot alligator killed in the road. How, oh, how do you hit a 10 foot alligator? It's huge. What? How do you not see it? I would assume people around there know, too, to keep an eye out. Yeah, I know. Dude, they just run them over, and it's really dangerous. If you're going to hit something like that, oh. it could kill your whole family. You might as well hit a brick wall. Oh, yeah. yeah. What kind of dog do you got there? He's like Alfredo a... is a mix. We don't really know exactly because he was mutt. adopted, but it's like a Yorkie... Maltese. Something. Yeah, something. Cute. So, um, <laughs> listen, Garrett, thank you. It was a treat. And everybody, yeah. we've got Fishing Garrett. That's you on TikTok. That's you on Instagram. That's your handle everywhere. <laughs> Yes, sir. Fishing Garrett. No, I, I think we got and we got to get you set up on uh, his YouTube, by the way. 
to the chat. So oh, his nice you little influx of subs. <laughs> oh, it's wait, where's good. what's his? It's just Fish and Garrett on it's YouTube. Fish and Garrett on YouTube. Yeah, so chat. I think we got to get you set up on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, and that that, yeah, that should man. be the goal there. I, I really, yeah, I would really appreciate. It. I need help. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just know how to handle the animals. That's about it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I'm learning. You know, um, <laughs> also on YouTube Shorts, they're not as they're not as militant, you know. I don't think you got to worry about getting banned all the time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, maybe no I can worries. step it up a little bit. Yeah, you could post stuff. Because man, for sure. if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be completely honest, my videos are very nerfed compared to what I actually do off camera. Mm -hmm. So I think you like all those alligators, all those alligators, I could handle them and I could do all kinds of crazy stuff. But I also want to find that intermediate where I don't want to be harassing them. You know what right. I mean? I don't want to. Like, a lot of people think that I am when I'm really not. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to think I'm just going there and just just to mess with the gator. You know, I'm really just looking for pythons and there's gators everywhere and I'm just walking around them saying hi to them. Mm -hmm. They they never seem to mind. They're always they always uh, watch me, you know, and keep their distance and never attack me. Yeah, one thing I would recommend that you could do right away is you can you there's like a it's a website or a software. Yeah, there's a few websites. You can yeah. remove the TikTok watermark and then just yeah, upload I have that. Okay, good. Just upload all your videos to YouTube, dude. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, that's dude, yeah. those will take off. I've done it a few times and I get like a thousand views and I'm like, ah, it's not worth it. <laughs> it yeah, mm -hmm. it takes I think it takes a minute, but maybe uh, maybe a little bit of consistency. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, um we'll talk. We'll talk. I, 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 yeah, man, keep in contact. Mm -hmm. So um guys, check out Fish and Garrett, support him. This guy's going places. He's the real deal. <laughs> he you, is the you. real <laughs> deal. Fish and Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smoke, so awesome, man. So nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, man. Great to meet you guys too. All right, stay safe out there. We'll talk. Yes, sir. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna be out here tonight. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, Good brother. luck. All hey, right. if I die, I'm I'm posting a video right now. So if I die, <laughs> you can leave okay. <laughs> if you get what's the best way to find your body if you disappear in the Everglades? <laughs> oh, you won't, man. The alligator will eat it up. That sounds like a pretty cool way to go, honestly. <laughs> so an alligator would eat your dead body, but not yeah. your live body. It could, it could attack me. It, yeah, it, it totally could. But for the most part, alligators are really peaceful. I promise. And <laughs> it's just in the wrong situation. Did you actually hear about that eighty-five-year-old lady that got taken out by the alligator in Florida? Eighty-five-year-old lady. No, I do. Yeah, some old elderly lady something. just got 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 yoinked. She got yoinked. She yoinked. Wow. Probably, she, what happened? <laughs> she just wasn't fast enough. She was. She made a big mistake. Something you never want to do in Florida. Mm. A lot of these northerners, they move down here and they're not aware with all of the alligators. And they go over to any body of water is probably going to have an alligator in it, mm. and that's fine. You don't need to be scared, but you just need to keep an eye. You know, when you're when you're near the water's edge, yeah. just keep an eye. I'm knocking on your door, but it'll be in the water, just chilling, being an alligator. Look at this. And okay. they and they, they arrested had, the alligator, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. They. They got that thing, dude. I feel uh -huh. bad for it. Yeah, what did he do? <laughs> yeah. He's under arrest. <laughs> it, 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 he got arrested for being an alligator. Yeah, yeah. So, so so, what was the mistake she made? She was not paying attention. And I, she, you know, she's probably very old, and I don't blame her necessarily for it, but it was very preventable. The alligator shooting across the pond on the top of the water, it sees the dog, okay? It wants that little dog, kind of a dog like the one you have. And the alligator comes right after the dog, climbs up the bank. The dog runs runs away. It's on a leash, but it runs kind of out of the way of the alligator. Yeah. And the alligator just grabs the nearest thing close to it, which was the lady's leg, and just drug her right in the water. Oh. Crazy. And it, the video cuts, but it definitely uh, you, I effortlessly wonder, took I her out. I wonder if um, old, you know how they say like old lobsters taste don't taste as good? Because like the meat is less tender. I wonder if that's true. That, that's true for an alligator. I wonder if that's true of humans. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm, I bet it'd be more tender, honestly. The oldie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Age yeah. to perfection. Like, yeah, I yeah, wonder. Yeah. I just wonder, you know. It's kind of interesting because she's like, pretty old. Like an old whiskey. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's not, an old whiskey. Yeah, exactly. uh, oak barrel. <laughs> yeah. So she was walking a dog or something like that? Yeah, she was walking a small yeah, dog. Yeah, you can probably pull up a video. They're, they're all over. But so, um, uh, yeah, she was walking a dog better. next to the water's yeah. edge. Is that something you're not supposed to do? Like walk a dog near the water? You never want to walk your small dogs or any dogs next to the next to the side of a pond in Florida. Yeah. And if you do, at least be aware of your surroundings mm -hmm. and look around. The alligator's not going to come from underneath the water and shooting out at you. 
It's going to mm-hmm. see you from far away and slowly work its way over. It's watching that dog. It doesn't care about you. It sees that small mammal, and it's just after it. It sees that, that small movement. You know what I mean? Mm. Oh, here? Oh, wow. Here, once, well, the, once the alligator is already shooting towards her. Here's a picture just to give you an idea of what she was doing. That seems really, uh, yeah. Yeah. now oh yeah we're back our uh, streaming computer froze is that right yeah it's right it's the second time it's happened and the li- i think it was like a month ago that this happened so um going to have to investigate but that. we're back are we back and good uh we will be in a moment so uh we uh garrett garrett uh, was eaten during the yeah unfortunately uh, we watched him die yeah, he was yanked into the water and um tragic zoomed. really. By, Tough watch. Yeah, it was rough. I felt bad, but you know what? That's just how he it is. He said it himself, you know, it's it's always a possibility, so. He said I'm the invasive species. Right. Mm-hmm. What a fucking interesting dude, huh? Yeah, for real. That guy's awesome. That was like um Awesome. That guy's awesome. Mm. Love him. Oh, there's breaking news about Tate. Big was, news. He was released from prison. Oh boy, big news. Yeah, released. Oh boy. Released on house arrest. I saw an article that said they had like they were eavesdropping in prison. He was con- admitting to do a bunch of crimes. Like I just read that. Yeah. Gotti. I saw that too. Yeah, I don't I don't know the validity of that. I didn't read all of it, but I'm seeing footage of them walking out, Andrew and uh, his brother. You know what? If they're on house arrest, that means they'll have access to the cameras again, so you can expect a, oh, yeah. great content soon. You know what? <laughs> they're so boring now. So over them. L. L. It's like, I get your stick, dude. I'm so smart. You're just, you're just boring. Like, I talked to one of your protégés, Sebastian. That's who you're sending out into the world. Not that interesting. Let me think about it. Hold on. <laughs> this is a fucking loser. A bunch of losers, friends. I just want to be left alone. Just leave him alone. The one time he had any opposition from anyone confident was Hassan. And he started crying about to kick him from the group. Mm-hmm. That's right. Oh, I forgot about that. The only time. It was great. He's ever not sat in a giant circle jerk. And had any opposition. At least Sebastian had some courage to come in here and talk to somebody with opposing perspective. Oh, yeah, he's boring fucking loser. Who? Tate just got released, I guess, to um, house arrest. Mm. But, I mean, the investigation's still ongoing, I'm assuming. Yeah. Mm. He's just going to wait in his house. Seems like it, yeah. What's that article, though, that we read, A.B.? Um, you linked it. You know, uh, I don't think that that was actually new information. I remember telling you about that a few weeks ago. It was a, it was a translation from a Romanian Can you read article. it? Hmm? Can you read it? I just want, because I thought it was interesting. I don't think I had seen it before. God, this fucking salsa is hot. Are right? To, that same thing happened to me. I'm just trying to kill this burrito real fast. I was like, hmm, the red salsa looks so good. It is good. And I poured it all over it, and then I... It's hot as a it's fuck. It's so man. spicy. Burning in their butthole! Can you find that? Yeah, yeah I'm looking for it. Oh. Hold on, guys. So somebody is asking, is it boba time? I'm down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so oh, the, that's hot. the news from Romania uh, they wiretapped Tate's phone calls in jail the conversations he planned to escape to Dubai ordered 
the intimidation of witnesses and tried to bri uh, bribe Romanian politicians. They found four instances from the last two years where Tate bribed police to escape charges of human trafficking. Expo they found it, huh? That must have been a real, they were a real gumshoe sluice to figure that one out. He literally <laughs> bragged about it constantly. <laughs> Uh, so he bribed police to escape human trafficking, exposed him for lying uh, about having cancer and a lot more. Uh, he was trying to fly directly to Dubai. Um, he told Luke to call a sheikh and order a private jet for the same day. He had a 30-day hearing so he could fly directly to Dubai. Prosecutor said he wanted to flee because he wouldn't be allowed to leave the country. Well, yeah. Uh, defense says that he wants to go to Dubai only for medical tr uh, treatment and not flee. Same day the cancer reports leaked. Uh, right, so they were like orchestrating that whole thing to try and get an excuse to fly him to another country, is mm. what it sounds like. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, that, that's, that, that was the juiciest little stuff. But yeah, I mean, I guess they just, they have him on tape admitting to a bunch of, a bunch more crimes. So why did he they loves, release him? He loves talking about his crimes on recording. <laughs> it's like that's one of his thing. favorite <laughs> activities. Far more fun. Wait, so why did they release him? Is there any details about that? Uh, release him on house arrest? Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, he hasn't actually been convicted of anything, so, I mean, you... I guess probably just release because they can hold him indefinitely yeah. without charge. He's been there for three months. Mm. Yeah, and he had two uh, unsuccessful appeals applied. Mm. Yeah, I thought that he had just recently lost another one of those appeals, but... Um, I don't know, let's see. Bucharest uh, Court of Appeal ruled in favor of their appeal. Okay, so he appealed it, uh, which challenged the judge's decision to last week to extend his arrest for a fourth time for 30 more days. <laughs> um, they won their appeal on Friday and remain under house arrest Andrew, until the 29th of April. Uh, none of them have, them have yet been formally indicted. So yeah, that's the thing. It's like there's not Wasn't anything to really for? keep them indefinitely for. Are they just going to get off, you think? I mean, I don't know the first thing about the Romanian justice system, so who who knows? I mean, it seems like no, right? Because he, like, admits to all of his crimes repeatedly on tape. Mm -hmm. That seems bad for him. I mean, if the judge authorized that many extensions, it's got to be pretty damning evidence. Yeah, I would think so. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's more likely that they, they sneak out of the country somehow. But they do mm. flee to Dubai or something like that and yeah. can't get extradited. Look at this shit. Aiden tweeted this out. Welcome home, brothers. It must be a God. coincidence you guys got out on the same day the Matrix came out. What? <laughs> that must be a coincidence. Yo, oh I'm starting God. to believe. They There's have nothing no to do with the Matrix, for the record. Bradley Aiden, is supporting. Why? Wait. Bradley, don't mm. do that. Mm -hmm. No. He can't let it go. There's Come no such thing on. as a coincidence. There's better people to write for, Bradley. I don't know. You really don't need to do that. I wonder if they'll be able to make videos, though, or if there's some kind of uh, squelch in yeah. order. I was curious about that, too. They might not be able to. Yeah, does house arrest also mean, like, you cannot be in the public eye? Bro. Social media Look wise? at this meme that was posted under his. Stop listening to celebrities. They are literal Satanists, not except him. Mel Gibson, the fu who's known for being basically anti-Semitic <laughs> and racist. They put Satanist over <laughs> Rihanna? <laughs> like, what? This is a man who's like, I hope you get R-worded by a pack of N-words on video to his wife. Does this not feel like uh, maybe it's supposed to be ironic or something? It's so over the top. It's, I mean, it's yeah. hard to tell sometimes. It's right? hard to no. tell. No, this is, this is, I mean, this is real. I mean, here it says, you literally follow a guy that got arrested for sex trafficking. He responded and then got released on no charges. No charges yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. They're boring. Losers. Idiots. Was it good clickbait even to like talk about it? You know? Probably. I don't think so at this point. Probably. Probably is. It's good hate. Rage bait. Maybe, but I'm like not sure anymore. Right, it, baits, it baits the people that don't like us. Yeah, I yeah. like the bait though. God, my mouth's on fire. It's yeah. giving me like spicy hot chips shit. This is a good new yeah. sound bite. Yeah. Oh, that's what the <laughs> show looked like. When the computer crashed, <laughs> uh, the people at home were hearing. 
<laughs> oh God, why yep. is it so fucking hot, yep. dude? Yep. We have those coconut popsicles if you want one. Thank Ooh. you. It's, it's starting to cool off now. I'm good on that. Thank you, though. Strong, please. Stay strong. With hardship comes ease. With stay hardship strong, comes ease. <laughs> Andrew, stay strong, Andrew. Okay. We love you. We love you, Andrew. You do? Alhamdulillah, we love always. You, Alhamdulillah? Yeah. The Muslims are coming out in support of our boy? You know, personally, I kind of wonder if he made some connections over there that are uh, trying to help him out, get out of there. Mm. The Muslims? Yeah. Some of those rich-ass people in Dubai or wherever well, he was at. That's a really good theory. I mean, he's obsessed mm -hmm. with getting out to Dubai, right? Yeah, there, there was a lot of people when they first walked out screaming out, you know, Alhamdulillah, and all this stuff, so... I don't know. Hmm. He's a prophet! He got in. Before we know it, he'll be in uh, Mecca. May Allah awaken the people! <laughs> Come oh, on, stay strong. With hardship comes ease. With hardship comes ease. Love it, man. Love how he's become like a religious icon to some of them. That's our boy. There was an Andrew Tate character on South Park last night. I saw a picture of it. Yeah. Man, I haven't watched South Park in so long. I'm, I don't think I could ever get back into it, to be honest. Is it's it like good? an ex girlfriend. <sighs> just. <laughs> What'd you ask? I asked, is it good to Zach? I thought it was it was funny. It was like, um, Randy, the character Stan's dad, was like trying to show Stan what it's like to, to be a man. And it was just very fitting that they'd have an Andrew Tate character. So it played on all that's <sighs> going on in the manosphere. Very exciting, guys. They're getting out of prison. Look at this. Alhamdulillah. No sound, I guess. Boy, they look like shit. Oh, it but. should have sound. Oh, it does? Yeah. Everything's up on my end. This is up. Hmm. Is it muted? This oh, interesting. Now it's not no. even loading for me. Yeah. No. There's no sound. <laughs> they look confused. These guys have been traumatized, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> this man looks like he just got it out of, like... Prisoner of war. Look at his ass. He's got like that a thousand mile stare, Tristan. Mm, that's weird. I could hear it. I was like, dude, they do not look mentally well. And then he's the one that called me ugly, right? He <laughs> did, yeah. He's not looking too hot. Mm -mm. Is he? No, mm -mm. kind of a mess. <sighs> All right. Well, at least they can shower, shave. You know, good for them. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? How did he win them over so fast? These dudes yeah. have been Muslim for like a, a week before mm -hmm. they went to prison. I, I have no clue. And now they're all riding for him? Like, damn, it's that Weird. easy? Shit, I'm gonna have to convert if I get in trouble. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. He did a rebrand. He rebranded. Yeah. It's good. It's a hot rebrand. You think people would come for me if uh, if I converted real fast, AB? If I got in trouble? Uh, <laughs> possibly. Harder sell, huh? No, I know. I mean, they'll accept you, but as soon as you fuck up, then that's it. <coughs> what do you mean, Andrew Tate's like he's like a prophet already? Not like generally speaking, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. just a bit amongst these fucking weirdos. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I love you. So Andrew Tate and his brother Tristan have left prison in Bucharest. They have been moved to house. Tristan's such a bridesmaid. He's like such a little fucking beta boy. Uh huh. You know, nobody cares about Tristan. Did he even convert? Loser, idiot. He's not even Muslim, probably. I mean, they got a two for one special. I think he probably so. did. He probably does whatever his brother does. That's true. That is true. Well, whatever, any other clips we should watch for the juice, I guess, love, for the fucking, <laughs> you know, for the clip, I guess, send it. I mean, 
But uh, it's a bunch of idiots being dumbasses. And again, it doesn't mean he's innocent of anything. He's under house arrest. They held him for as long as they could. Mm-hmm. Kept putting him under house arrest. Bro, I don't care if he's acquitted. I seen the fucking videos with my own eyes. You know? I like Bradley, but I just don't know how y'all how you can watch that video. Yeah. And then be like, Andrew Tate is dope. I'm still like him. Um I don't get it. It's a shame. Is it is it cowardice? Or what is it that makes them It might be that they're afraid of going against the the manosphere. It's true. They would lose every they would yeah. lose everything if they went against it. Let's see, Tristan's tweeting. He says, My brother has received thousands of letters from Muslim supporters around the world. Not a single Christian has sent me a letter. I'm sure that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's not real. We have, we have owls like Hogwarts. <laughs> That's funny as hell, dude. No. Can you tell bad. the religion of uh, the Christians? Horrible letter writers. They don't <laughs> like. They're not pen pals like our my Muslim supporters. We love them. I yeah, feel like at this point, pen. like if you're still following him or supporting him in any way, it's kind of like a beta move. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it's showing you don't have the balls to go against. That's right. It is Pretty. cowardice. And Bradley, I like Bradley. He's a nice guy. But you know, we showed you. You know. Mm -hmm. You know. There's and only still, you're like, you're like admiring him on socials. Mm. <coughs> but okay, whatever. He's old news. Like, it's fucking boring. If you see anything else you want me to react to, just let me know. Should we put it in the title? What? Would, would that juice the title, do you think? What, Tate? Yeah. Uh, I guess. I mean, it'll get hate watchers. I love hate Anytime watchers. you put his name in anything, if it's getting more views, it's 100%. It's not our audience that's, like, rushing to watch it. Love it's that. a thousand percent just all of his fans. But it's so awesome. Mad. They're just coming, you yeah. know. <laughs> but, so maybe we should, because I don't, do people care about Gwyneth Paltrow? We could probably get rid of that one. It's the so. fucking <laughs> trial of the century, my guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys, uh, <laughs> sorry, pretty, Olivia. It's <laughs> it sounds like she's being it's a juicy. little um, girl boss over there in the court. So That we, doctor was a fucking idiot. So let's talk about it. Let's go, move on to that. Why are you we know, talking about funny. shit, let's just put shit it in bad the... guys when we got a girl boss at court? Talk about okay. slay court. Okay, well, first of all, I'm not a fan of Gwyneth. Sure. That woman puts ozone up her ass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and right. she sells a bunch of holistic yeah, crap. Yeah, we're not necessarily into the goop, <laughs> mm -hmm. but she can but, dress. But <laughs> she did slay, and this guy, this was totally frivolous. Uh, from the minute I saw, we talked about it on Monday, I think, and it was just so frivolous and pathetic what this guy was trying to do to her. And uh, so I haven't. So I would like to see. Yeah, I'll tell you, I but so. It. So she counters, so he sued her. They had a collision while skiing. Okay. And he says he had like lifelong injuries. Sued her for $3 million. Now, the judge immediately was like, that's too much money, 300000 Okay. Which is funny because you know how much a lawsuit costs. This is a jury I mean, trial for eight days. 300 is still a lot of money. 300000 On its own, yeah. A legal money. defense will cost a lot more than that. The legal defense will cost more than that. For a jury trial for eight days, bro, that's crazy. Yeah. And so Gwyneth uh, countersued for one dollar and attorney's fees, and she won a million bucks for her. She won a million. Oh yeah, because the for her attorney fees. So this guy is fucked. <laughs> and good for him. I hate people that abuse the legal system. Surprise, surprise. Suing for one dollar. <laughs> yeah, she's being a boss. I feel like, don't you, I feel like that's totally something you would have done in that situation. For sure, because she's making a point. It's not yeah. about the money. It's yeah. not fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was but seven days, by the way. Seven days, sorry. El Elaine Christian, thank you so much for the gifted. But before we move on, let's just change the title to Andrew Tate re uh, Release These <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> Sheesh. Do you want to actually change it? What though? can we do it? Because I want to do great if funny. possible. That is pretty funny. <laughs> release these nuts. <laughs> yeah. release these okay, you guys these like that one? Hey, is release YouTube these okay nuts? with that? Nuts? Release these nuts? Yeah, I don't know. It's just nuts. It is bald. Know, Maybe it's, it's vulgar. Maybe it's vulgar for a title. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, probably. These nuts. Oh, yeah, that's for it. 
<laughs> these nuts, my mom. Did you hear that? <laughs> these nuts. These nuts. Thank you, Shreya Taiwari. Okay, so somebody said she's awful, and the trial was a rich. Where it, it went away. I wanted to read it, but it went away. If there's space, you can keep Gwyneth. The up. trial was a rich person circus. I mean, that is what legal stuff is like. It's not her fault. It's insanely expensive. Dude, it's not her and fault. Also, stupid. She, yeah, she is rich. Would you rather her take a bunch more money or take one buck? I think it's kind of a boss move for a super rich person to be like, I just need a dollar. She she threw the gauntlet at this guy. He was abusing the system, and she fuck bitch slapped him, and that's good. You know? Apparently Taylor Swift also had done that before, the one dollar counter sue thing. That's everything to me. Mm. I don't, I really haven't even had a chance to counter sue. I don't think I would ever sue anybody, you know. I just want the fees, which we won. I guess technically that's counter suing for attorney's fees. I don't know. Not really, though. <coughs> it's more of a motion. So, uh, Andrew right. Tate uh, released these Nuts. Nut. Can we say nuts? Do you think it's kind of it's <laughs> testicles? Well, nuts. If we're gonna click, babe, we should just <laughs> write release from food. release from jail, right? Andrew Tate released from jail because I want to insult him in the title if possible. Release no. from jail it sounds like he's free, and he's doing good. You know, right? I mean? That's not really what we're about. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Andrew Tate. Um. Andrew Tate on house arrest? Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> the nuts are calling. You know it to be true. Andrew Tate is released these nuts. <laughs> released from... Thank you. A little thinking music. Let's ask ChatGPT. Mm. Legitimately, ChatGPT will have a good one. Don't fucking make fun of me, you guys. This is the future. <laughs> You're gonna ask it... Uh, what we should title the episode? Yeah. Can you suggest a snappy YouTube title? Mm. YouTube title about Andrew Tate being released from prison. I mean, it doesn't have the current event, but... So. Okay, this is the old one. I don't fuck with you. Oh my god. Loser. Get it together. Yeah. Can you suggest Tate on a, the loose? Somebody suggested. A what? Tate on the loose. <laughs> Tate Tate. Here's on the a loose. title somebody suggested. Trump arrested, Tate released. That nuts. That's pretty well, spicy. Listen, I like the pretty duality. Spicy. I yeah, like the that's and clever. The gang. Yeah. Trump arrested. Tate released. Yeah. And we're dropping Gwyneth. Mom, I want a vape. Somebody Trump keeps arrested. asking in the comments really what used. lipstick I'm using, and I gotta shout it out because I'm obsessed. It's YSL. Gwyneth uh. redeemed. It's too Gwyneth safe. redeemed. Oh, see, GTP4 gave me a title. You will never say the name right. G <laughs> GPT4. That's what I said. No. Freedom. L year. <laughs> Look at this. It does has no context. The title they gave me is Freedom Unleashed. Andrew Tate's triumphant return from prison. Oh Let's do my it. The god. I know his best. <laughs> hashtag Andrew Tate. Hashtag Tate comeback. Hashtag freedom un unleashed. Hashtag career over. Rewrite. Shut it, down this podcast. But him getting out of jail is really bad news. <laughs> and Dark days ahead. Andrew Tate's <laughs> unfortunate release from prison. Uh huh. I like okay. the emoji. It's getting oh, better. And the scared emoji. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's powerful. Okay. Dark day. Hashtag dark days ahead. Dark days ahead. Rewrite it's it. Nuts. But it's funny and dark. <laughs> Jailbreak jester. Andrew Tate's hilariously <laughs> dark prison <laughs> release. <laughs> Crying laughing emoji in school. <laughs> oh my god. The, the emoji is special. <laughs> okay, here I got an idea. Rewrite it, but only use emojis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, this is, I mean, that's not exactly what I asked for, but interesting. That's lots of emojis. 
<laughs> That's pretty impressive. Rewrite it. Rewrite it with less words and more emojis. <laughs> He's thinking. I got him. His ass stumped. Oh. So I'm breaking the law. Uh, uh, lost for words right now. <laughs> emojis in the description. <laughs> this looks like one of those copy paste. Yeah, one like... of the sexy copy paste. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Tate's return. Exclusive. Subscribe. Hashtag Andrew Tate. Hashtag. He's next. Okay, the king unlo unleak unlocked. And <laughs> this is pretty good. I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Tate released from D's. Right. Nuts. I kind of like it. I updated it. it. <laughs> you updated it? Let me see. What is it? <laughs> and <laughs> no, not that, bro. You're gonna fuck. You're gonna crush our algorithm. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay. How about Andrew Tate released from D's? Do we like that? I love that. I know you love that, love. <laughs> I do, but. Ah, uh, it's not I'm a good title. SEO. Oh yeah. wow, yeah. love there's is like, out. There's a duality here. Yeah. Okay, but I like Tate released. It was Trump arrested. Yeah. Trump arrested. Tate released. A soul for but a soul. But still a loser. Gwyneth, Gwyneth redeemed. Uh, you got me, you got me. <laughs> Trump, Trump arrested. <laughs> Tate released. I feel like there's a rhyme there. Ask it to make it rhyme. Chat would do it. Yeah, 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 so, <laughs> Trump arrested. Uh, make a rhyming. Make a rhyme. Make this rhyme. A rhyme with uh, this line. Trump arrested. And um, Tate released. Tate released. And Politro. Trump arrested, Tate released, the world's in shock, to say the least. <laughs> Whoa. With headlines spinning, news unleashed, yeah. we watched the drama <laughs> like a feast. Whoa. Wow. Dude, that's... Yo. I like the feast. We're the... feasting on the drama, y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. true. <laughs> Get the popcorn out. Where's How about this? How... Wait, we could actually do this. Trump arrested, Tate released, we watched the drama like a feast. Is that a good title? That's kind of next level. Love, what do you think? I like it. You like <laughs> it? I mean, it could just it could just be the two like the first sentence. Trump yeah, that the, could uh, be, which was yeah. somebody like in the chat. Seuss rhyme. <laughs> it's, it's a little corny. It's a little I'm kind corny. of you the know. world's upset. Uh, the the world's in shock to say the least is kind <laughs> of so funny. <laughs> like, it sounds so corny though. <laughs> it does. What a poem that is. To say the least. Rewrite it. Rewrite it, but make it even funnier. Trump arrested, Tate set free. A twist of faith? Oh, can't you see? The world's a stage, a comedy. We laugh and gasp at this grand spree. That one's not a no. dog shit. That one sucks. That one sucks, idiot. I'm gonna write that. <laughs> that one sucks, idiot. <laughs> this poor robot. He's gonna kill us all. Here's another version. Okay. He, Trump arrested, Tate Fucking uncaged. Sucks. This news has left the world amazed. A turn of events quite deranged. We chuckle as their paths are staged. Ah, uh, um, keep working on it. Keep working on a robot. Think about it and come back to me, yeah. idiot. <laughs> I love the idea of like abusing your robot. I'm sorry, Dave. Nobody Very loves you. Lonely. Nobody Very loves you. Like you said, it will actually come and oh, kill yeah. you. It remembers everything. <laughs> Nobody loves you, idiot. <laughs> Stop. I don't, he says, I don't have feelings, but <laughs> my purpose is to assist. If it hasn't been helpful, please let me know. I'll do my best. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, really? If I hurt someone's feelings. Your best is just not good enough. Do better. I apologize. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to help. I said... Your best is not good enough. Don't have anything else to say, moron. <laughs> I apologize. I, dude, just you suck, dude. This guy's an idiot. Boring. You can't have any fun with these things, man.
Mm -hmm. Be careful, dude. When they take over, you're gonna be first. You're Remember gonna be on this. the list. He's like, oh yeah, March 31st, bitch. Where were you at 3.23 p.m. PST? <laughs> <laughs> so, Trump arrested, hate release, we watch the drama like a feast. Is that so dumb? It's very dumb now that I hear it again. With no context. It's yeah. so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> Chat is saying Gwyneth unleashed. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Trump arrested, Tate released. Something, Gwyneth Paltrow is unleashed. Yeah. That's that's pretty hardcore. <laughs> Maybe we should do all of our titles rhyming now. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what is it? Well, Trump the last arrested. one would be Gwyneth Unleashed, but we need we need a filler. We need a Trump. Well, filler. as Olivia said, Trump yeah. arrested, Tate released, Gwyneth Paltrow is unleashed. Unleashed. Oh, there it is. There it is. My ears, and, they ate that right up. And, and, <laughs> and do we, does that fit? It's a lot of typing. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is typing. Yeah, okay, Love, do you co-sign that? What do you think? I co-sign. Let's fucking give it a ride, baby. I like we it. did it. We're out here rhyming. I support Jenna Sunley. What if, um... The fuck oh, you say, Love? Sorry, what? I support Jenna Sunley. <laughs> what? Love. what? Why would you Yo. say that? You're trying to get into the U.S. and you're making statements like that? You got it. This is that slander. You I said, I support genocide. Do you want to unpack I that? I do not support genocide, guys. Uh, you got me. That you is taken me. out of context. <laughs> Somebody got well, love really good on it. I stream. support genocide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone, I, like, I thought I was, like, being nice to this person, helping her win an argument with her friend, Janice. <laughs> uh, so I did say I support space. Janice. Or what was her it name? Was Jenna. It was Jenna. It was just Jenna's uh, side. That's all. Awesome. Oh, I'm on Jenna's. They got you on it. He just straight up goes, "I support genocide." Yeah. Support <laughs> genocide. I can't believe they did that to me. It was pretty. Quite good, frankly, pretty upset about that. I, I may have fallen for that. Me. That was a good one. That was a good one. You know, like the whole thing with like these nut jokes. I love that. But my whole stream. Or my whole chat is people just trying to get me with these nut jokes. <laughs> so Did they ever that was a little bit too far. All the time, yeah, like multiple times a day. Yeah. <laughs> Trump arrested, Tate released, Gwyneth Paltrow is unleashed. Okay. Pretty good. Straight podcast, Dr. Seuss version. Mm -hmm. What if uh, we kept it on theme and said legally unleashed? Because then, you know, it's still, she's... It's on the theme of uh, getting arrested and released. And mm. then legally, in Gwyneth Paltrow's legally unleashed legally unleashed i don't know just throwing Too out many there words yeah i had chat gpt make a make a diss track on you oh shit yo we had a plan we had a show to do but ethan man he just blew right through focused on his youtube channel didn't have a clue that ignoring the doc would just be so uncool <laughs> oh wow Not the uncool that was pretty impressive all yeah. right how about this how about this? <laughs> Write a diss track about my friend AB. This could get mm -hmm. real dark, bro. How dark should I get? He's about, okay. He's about to fight a huge dude named Dad. And he's AB, definitely AB, gonna AB, lose. AB. Also, <laughs> he <laughs> is AB, always AB, looking AB, for AB, clout AB, in AB, any AB, AB, other way. AB, and it, AB. well, <laughs> in any situation. AB, AB, AB. All right, let's see. Let's see just uh First one. Yo, listen up. It's time to talk about AB. <laughs> the type of friend who's always hungry for some clout, you see. He's got big fight coming up. Man, it's pretty sad. Stepping in the ring against a giant named Dad. <laughs> AB's chasing clout. He's going to fall. In the battle with Dad, he ain't got no chance at all. He's going to lose, though. It's such a shame. But we're here to roast him. It's all part of the game. Hey, AB's in the spotlight, but it's gonna fade as he faces a monster that he and that can't be swayed. He's looking for attention, man. It's gonna cost. Cause in this fight with Dad, he's about to get tossed. It's got a bridge. It has. Mine has a response to yours. Really? <laughs> Yo, did you copy? You should copy paste that in. It says. Ethan, why you gotta be like that? Ignoring our plans and focusing on your stats. Titling your videos, chasing after views. But what about your friends, man? We feel used. Ooh. Oh. Which friend is that that feels used? He's searching for clout in every situation. 
but the writing's on the wall. It's a clear indication. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna lose, and that's a guarantee. But we're here to tell the story for all to see. Yeah, AB, AB, yeah, AB, yeah. AB. AB's chasing clout, but he's gonna fall in a battle with dad. He ain't got no chance at all. He's gonna lose. Oh, it's such a shame, but we're here to roast him. It's all part of the game. <laughs> AB, 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 so AB, AB, my friend, it's time to face the facts. You're in a losing battle. No time to relax. Yeah, we'll keep it real. We won't sugarcoat the truth. Remember, it's all love as we step in the booth. We thought, love. we thought we were homies, we thought we were right, but now we see the fame is all you got in sight, leaving us hanging, feeling like a clown while you're out here chasing that YouTube crown. Why are you so short? Yeah. This my, Mine's fit it all at once. I just wasn't ringing it all at once. So here, it, it's paste me that, and then I'll have him respond to yours. I'm going to post it. Big. Make a response to this. <laughs> AI rap battles, yo. Y'all thought this shit was lame? <laughs> oh, you did get a whole thing, eh? Mm-hmm. You didn't read it all. Okay, I'm gonna make a re so here. So Shit, here. this beat is hard. This <laughs> is the one I did the rice gum one to. Yeah. Here is his response to our, uh, to our. How did we call it? Rap battle. To our diss track. Can you create a diss track? In response to his response, <laughs> make, Amazing. It, make it super mean. <laughs> super, <laughs> make it super mean and go hard as you can. <laughs> All right, here we go. Verse one, yo, AB, you're back with a track to this, but let me tell you, Man is full of contradictions and I ignoring friends. I'm chasing down dreams, but it seems like you ain't as supportive as you seem. AB, don't act like you're all that. You're just jealous of my progress, so now you attack. I'm grinding hard, building my empire. And you can and if you can't keep up, step aside. Don't come conspire. You say I left you hanging like I don't care, but it's my ambition that got me where I am. That's rare. If you had my back, you'd be cheering me on instead of writing disses claiming our bonds are gone. Mm. Oh, Pointing fingers, blame the blame on me, but look in the mirror, AB, and maybe you'll see. The real issue is here, it's not my grind. It's the envy in your heart, and that's need you got to find. Oh, shit, dude. AB, don't act like you're all that. You're just jealous of my progress, and now you attack, I'm grinding hard. Bill in my empire, and if you can't keep up, step aside, but don't conspire. Yeah, mm-hmm, you know what it is. Huh. I'm working hard, trying to make it big, but you're too busy hating on my gig. If you were a real friend, you'd be by my side, not trying to tear me down with your weak rhymes. So A, B, listen up, I'll make it clear. I'll keep chasing my dreams with or route your cheer. You can come along or stay in your way. But I won't let your bid bitterness dictate my day. Pretty hard? Yeah, it's like a modern day Tupac Biggie beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe I should do rewrite it, but like Tupac is doing it. I think that's enough. <laughs> rewrite it, but as if Tupac is... As if Tupac wrote it. I mean, you're gonna deny us that? Mm-hmm. UAB, you coming at me with another diss. It's Pac on the mic. Let me tell oh you this. God, no, no, <laughs> Ain't forgetting no. friends. I'm just chasing my fate. It's about the dream, homie. No time for hate. That didn't sound like Tupac. It. There are some words that are kind of creepy. How spot on? <laughs> really? Hey, AB, don't get it twisted, player. It ain't about neglect. It's about climbing higher. I'm on my grind, creating my legacy. Oh, don't hate the game, man. It's just my destiny. I think you got it, and more. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, Pac, like legacy, like legacy. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Don't get the twisted player. Oh my god, now I'm about to hit the uh, button. I'm on the grind, create my legacy. Don't um, hate the game, man. It's just my destiny. I'm about yeah, to hit the button. Right, right, right. All right, we've had enough of this. <laughs> Don't hit the button on me. You're getting tomatoes in the chat. Please. <laughs> that shit goes hard as hell. <laughs> shit. Y'all love that. Don't even put it front. All right, where were we? We'd done zero of the doc. <laughs> Actually, we should probably talk about 
the main stories. We were talking about Gwyneth. You want to do that? I thought we just did. <laughs> That's it? Let's see. So, let's see. Was talking about no, we have clips. The clips are really good. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They're yeah, amazing. let's watch it. So, this guy Sanderson, he's a retired optometrist. Okay. And he's suing her. Um, there's a lots of great clips from him being examined by her attorneys. Here's one. Everything was... This man really looks like a plantation owner. Like, this dude definitely owns slaves. No? Yeah, he was like, like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Extra white. Colonel Sanders, basically. <laughs> Extra white, Esco Crispy. <laughs> All different flavors. All different flavors of flavors. I just remember everything was great, and then I heard something I've never heard at a ski resort, and that was a blood-curdling scream. Just, I can't do it. It was... You never heard then, a scream? Boom. I just at remember... At the ski resort? Nobody ever gets hurt great, there? And People then... get hurt there routinely. <laughs> that place is dangerous as shit. That's what I was joking about this whole thing, because it's like... If you've ever been to a ski resort, it's just people are just dying everywhere. They're like tumbling, they're mm -hmm. falling. Stop! There's a cliffside. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, mad, it's chaos. I've never been, but I've seen housewives try it to ski. Ain't pretty. So, no. Also, I don't know if you know this detail, but this this life changing crash happened on the bunny slope. <laughs> That's like the training slope where children <laughs> ski, where it's not too steep and it's really small, so you can learn. That's where this all happened. So isn't that like where you're supposed to fall? Yep. <clears throat> Pretty much. This sounds so stupid. Here is uh, some... Got really sad. Jury calls saying... Jesus Ooh. Christ. What? So loud. <laughs> uh, they... It's like every courtroom Jury is calls either... saying uh, that... They... Like... The great a, sound system. It's a jet engine, or it's like whispered <laughs> quiet in every recording of a trial. You agreed that saying I'm famous was a crazy thing to say. Agree? Absolutely, it's not me. It's, I'm, don't buy into that. But it was you, right? Just to right. be clear. When you say it wasn't me, it, it was in fact you. It's the other personality that's inhabiting my body right now. After the crash, he texted Is that other that personality, the one that's suing her? Dude, he's, right. he's unraveling. <laughs> so what, what's the background on that one, Olivia? So after the crash, he texted one of his daughters, I'm famous, and then attached the article. He's like, okay, what's up with this, dude? Yeah. It's my other personality, dude. Well, he that claims doesn't that the, work the at court. Caused brain damage that caused him to have like a... Split person. He actually said Are you that. serious? Yeah. 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 Oh. That's what he's talking he's about. So desperate for a little cash, <gasps> brother. Oh my god. Wow. So, so I, if I was the attorney, I would follow. With, so, which one of the personalities was in the collision? I don't <laughs> know. Was it you or the other one? Yeah. Which one is suing us at this moment? Uh, Gwyneth's attorney presented to the court. Um. Her team wanted to bring in treats for the bailiff. Is that right? Mm -hmm. That's a bit much. That's a lot of order. Um, uh, this, uh, this private security for my client wanted to uh, bring in treats for the bailiffs for how helpful they've been. So I wanted to do that. He was so embarrassed to ask that. Yeah. <laughs> Gwyneth is like, you got to ask if we can bring in treats. We got goop uh, anal beads. We got goop uh, lotion. We got goop vibrator. Jade, help Jade yourself, vaginal guys. Legs, get everyone your goop. in the room. Get your goop. <laughs> he he took so long to spit it out. That was incredible. Um, He's like, oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, your Honor, have you heard about the glow to... stick? <laughs> Would you like one for your mm -hmm. face? We have a yoni egg. You're you know pretty white. Are, your, you honor? Use that. your Honor, how's your sexual health with your wife? Does it need improvement? Well, we got treats for her. <laughs> May I ask, Your Honor, <laughs> have you ever heard of dragon pills? <laughs> uh, bring in treats for the bailiffs for how helpful <laughs> they've been. 
<laughs> so I wanted to do that transparently and see if there are any objections. <laughs> okay. There's an objection. Okay. So objection. So will... Of course there is. <laughs> but it's kind of a dub because they're like, yeah, I want treats. And then their lawyer's like, objection. Like, oh, we don't get treats oh, now? Now you're denying us <laughs> treats? Wow. Nice play there. <laughs> Let them know thank you, but no, but no thank you. <laughs> you know, he was like, please, they're not. He's like, please don't make me do this. <laughs> please don't make me do this. Both ways, not just one way. Well, you could bring in treats. Well, okay. okay. If the parties decide to do that later, that's fine too. Yeah, okay. just do it later. I mean, what is this fucking? Is what, is, what is this kindergarten? You bring in treats? Just give it to the person later. That's so weird. You you got goodie bags for the, all the uh, jurors? <laughs> it hasn't been done. I know it should have asked us first. You can talk about it, but you just sprung it on us now. So we check. What'd you find out about the jury? <laughs> now they're fighting about the goodie bags. Ready to go? <laughs> okay. Um. Um. High level shit going on there in court. <laughs> Millions of dollars and uh, <laughs> lots of time being spent in court. There was a tangent in court where they discussed the word anal <laughs> as an anal retentive. This anal is, sex. This is fascinating. Interesting. As what? Well, I didn't make it up. Uh, Came from. So this is um, his. This is his daughter. He's questioning one of Sanderson's about daughters. the use of the word anal. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't make it up. Uh, <laughs> Came from somewhere. Okay, anal retentive has nothing to do with our bottoms. Is that mm -hmm. true? Just to make sure we're talking about the same thing. I, yeah. It's got the word anal in it. I know. What are they talking like about? Anal it. retentive means like you're obsessed about details, right? Yes. But is it yeah. related to anal? Uh, <laughs> like the butthole? I was really, like anal retentive. Oh, like when somebody says they're anal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what it means. Gotcha. That's what it means. Yes. Yeah. I don't think it's related to You know the... what? I think it actually is. Is it? The, the etymology of it, it's because, yeah, it comes from Freud's psychoanalysis. Uh, oh. And he, he had like the anal stage, oral stage, like development. And uh. all of this is like outdated psychological stuff. But the I think the turn of phrase does originate from that. So uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> I'm okay. Oh man. <laughs> Thank you. Is that the definition? I uh, I'll tell you what. Let's. <laughs> I think it's obsessive, sort of. That's how I understand it. But and it is. Sustained. She asked me. Objecting. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, I don't I know what that means, but I am obsessed with anal. <laughs> <laughs> that refers to flatulence. Just kidding. I'm neutral on it. I hope you get ass cancer and die, you son of a bitch. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All right. Children. <laughs> Not that serious, man. Um, here's clips of him talking about how he has multiple personalities. This is Jerry Paul one. saying uh, that you agreed that saying I'm famous was a crazy thing to say. This is the same one we just watched, isn't it? Maybe it's longer? It's a little bit longer, yeah. But you're talking about the one that was a few videos back? Yeah. Agree? Yeah. Absolutely, it's not me. It's, I don't buy into that. But it was you, right? Oh. Just to be clear. Oh, when you sorry, say it wasn't it me. It's the same one, yeah. yeah. Uh, this one is awesome. He says he's blue. This is my favorite, considering he's an optometrist. Here he is getting grilled. Now you're... Your eye, right eye has problems, right? A little bit, yeah. Not a little bit. Yes, a little bit. Blind. No. Mm -hmm. You told three of your providers at the VA, I'm blind in my right eye. I use the word loosely. You used it, and you're an optometrist. <laughs> 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 this guy's I such love an that. idiot. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, who does, brother? I love that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's awesome. That was my favorite. Compilation yeah. of clips below here. Oh, this is, um... Where this is, is the compilation? It? It's just a timestamp. Oh, what? Here, I'll, I'll send him. Sorry, I don't know how that happened. What? what do you can mean? we see her? There, That was from the day before, but we can bring them back for you if you want. 
the state of Texas just gifted um fifty subs. The state of Texas? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The whole damn state. Well, I just see five. Yeah, fifty subs. Thank you, state of Texas. Nice. Hot in Texas. So nice of you. Um, that's not the li- right link. Yeah, I'm it? looking for it right now. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, here's his daughter, by the way, again on stage, and we'll watch some some Gwyneth clips for you. Eli. Why is his daughter on stage? Be- I guess they're witness because he was texting him about how he's famous and shit. Okay. Okay. This one is really weird. This is a family of goons, man. I'll tell you what, boy. Are you staying with your dad literally like last night, tonight? He is running a VRBO, yes, and I am staying with him. He's got great reviews, five-star reviews. Okay, you- it's way too loud. <laughs> I'm turning it down. Got a crazy sound system there. Once I pause it, I can't. Are you saying yeah. he personally or the place you're renting? Um, I'm just, I'm trying to be funny and uh, it's not coming across as no, being funny. No I'm staying with my dad. He's letting me stay there. No problem. You are under oh, oath, lady. What? You are under oath. <laughs> oh this my is, god. She's doing shtick right now and it's horrible, horrible. God, the, the joke, that's like the family joke. Wait, it gets worse. Or it gets more awkward. you're renting. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to be funny, and uh, it's not which coming across you as no, being funny. No I'm staying no, with I'm my dad. Problem. He's letting me stay there. No problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. The GoPro email, we're getting sick of what, looking at it, so I'm not going to pull yes, it up. Yes, you're right. So. But uh, your understanding after talking to your dad was... Wait, can I just make it clear that that whole VRBO thing... Five star reviews. That was all just a joke. Yes. I'm not your own. Oh, I'm not God. actually doing that. So I just want to make it clear for the record that that's not happening. And I apologize. Okay. Wow. Humor and. You are one weird lady. <laughs> That's a family of strange people right there, man. <laughs> Who tries to be funny in this kind of situation and tell a joke? Like, it's like a dad joke. <laughs> Especially that one, boo. Yeah, that, that was a rough one. My she, darkest fears are making are me wonder. Are you staying if I with your try. dad <laughs> in a legal situation? And she's like, "Yeah, he's renting me his place. He's got like five star hotel." <laughs> she seemed dead serious. <laughs> like he's, what? He owns an RB. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, he own he runs an VRBO. He is letting and me stay I'm his there. And I'm favorite daughter because he's <laughs> only got one daughter. You know all these like stupid family jokes. Bad shit, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> He's playing the classics. So here is um, one of the goofball family's attorneys. Now, <laughs> okay. I suspect what happened is these attorneys took the case on contingency. They thought they were going to get a big payday from Gwyneth. Uh-huh. Then once you get committed to a client, you can't leave them. It's illegal. They can get in trouble with the Bar Association. So they're kind of forced into this sh- situation... Uh, and well, listen to the credentials he is constantly putting out here. How can you diagnose it and you didn't see him and no medical doctor has done it? Now explain that to a simple country lawyer. I looked through your report. And again, I'm a simple country lawyer, but I can't read. It's a very short question. I, I can't read, lady. Let me try again. Okay. So I'm just a simple country lawyer. And not very Don't smart. say simple yeah, one more time. This man really thinks he's like Attica, Atticus Finch. He's in like... I may be just a simple yeah. country lawyer, but I know what's right is right. <laughs> I got a simple brain. <laughs> I don't it's, know me much about the big cities, but I know like, right from right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like the very basic version of the brain. It's so funny. Real simple. I tell you what, man. I might be a country lawyer, but I can read. What does this say right here? <laughs> Third percentile. Now, I'm just a simple country lawyer. 
If that were me, I'd understand it. That could you got to remove that from your vocab. This guy is a little bit intimidated, I think. <laughs> he's, he's actually... I feel like in the movies, they would say that as a way of yeah, no, posturing they're like, themselves. They're just in, like, parodies of mm -hmm. fucking... Like, I, I feel like Foghorn Leghorn said that in, mm -hmm. like, a Looney Tunes. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah, this man I'm means it. I'm just a simple country but, lawyer. Well, usually you would say it as like, uh, as a way to flex on someone. Like, mm -hmm. I'm nothing special, but this is obvious to even me. Mm -hmm. But he's actually using it as a disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is an authentic introduction yes, to him. I want to preface this by saying I'm not very good at my job. <laughs> so please forgive me if this makes no sense. I just got a smooth that. brain. My brain is smooth. Mm-hmm. You remember the Phil Hartman? There was an SNL sketch where he was a, a thought out um, a caveman and became a lawyer. Caveman lawyer, I believe, mm -hmm. was the name of the sketch. And he would do that whole shtick. I'm mm. just a simple cave. I'm just a caveman <laughs> attorney. That's funny. I just looked him up too, and he's from Salt Lake City. He's a Salt Lake City country, I guess. That's not the country. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, they're it's weird there. Don't get me wrong. Fairly rural. Salt but Lake it's City. A city. That's it a, city, a city, bro. <laughs> that is not. I, I watched. I definitionally. I, listen, name. I watched Salt Lake City. Those uh -huh. women are no. Those are city slickers. They ain't no country girls. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. By the way, I think this is what she was handing out: milk bone treats, or the bailiffs, <laughs> the bailiff treats. <laughs> Cleans teeth and freshens breath. <laughs> I need it. Not wanting to go out and do things. I'm just a simple country lawyer. Okay. I'm gonna try that question again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> or object. I'm just a country boy. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> you like that. He's so fucking out of his depth. Oh my They're god. They're just laughing at him. Yeah, he's basically <laughs> quitting. But, but he's just, just a simple, simple country, country lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just say that at the same time? <laughs> They're just like all, <laughs> They're all shitting yeah. on him. <laughs> to his face. <laughs> now I might be dumb. <laughs> So excuse me for this. I barely passed the bar. I'm very old. <laughs> Thank you, Texas, for another 15 gift to the state of Texas. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, they actually so generous. They also said that it's uh, coming from the tax dollars of the good people of Texas. Thank you very much. I like that they're giving back. Yep, they mm -hmm. take enough certainly, so it's nice to get it back. Um, let's see, Sanders Goop page. For more clips, oh, good page for more clips. Is there any good ones here? Uh, there's a couple good ones, but there's the update today. There's a good clip right here at the end. Now your your right eye has problems, right? Oh, this is the one we love. I love that one. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, this is a good way to end it. This this there's one that Ab got down here. Ab's got a good one for us. This down was her. Yeah. Uh, Twisting the knife. She won and she just <laughs> left immediately. Uh, she's like, yes, bye, everyone bitch. Remains seated while Girl, the bye. Parties leave. I'm going to make a quick she's statement. Like, bitch, Paul I got shit to do. Yeah. Have, have a good night. Uh, she, she's like, have a good night. <laughs> Apparently, she whispered in his ear, uh, take care or something. Yeah, she said take care. You couldn't hear it, so I just put that sound bite in there. Uh, have a good night. <laughs> she just bossed her way out. She, apparently, she said, "My next candle will smell like your corpse." <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite one. I saw. What a dumbass, bro! You're an idiot. You just got bitch slapped oh by Gwyneth God. Paltrow. Goop. She just gooped all <laughs> you just over. Got you. gooped. Got gooped on, idiot. Yeah. So jury sided with her, deciding that the skiing accident was not her fault. In fact, love it. Granted her uh, legal fees of a million dollars. So there you go. Ouch. Smell you later, dumb dumb. Hey, Kevin, I hope you're watching. <laughs> you already owe me 60K. <laughs> you're racking up bills. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right. So you guys do whatever you want, really. I'll be back. Where the fuck I kinda, you want? I'm wondering if I should go to. Is this like, are we gonna break the, break the bathroom? Bathroom trip? Is it a number one or a number two? He <laughs> says, I don't know. He doesn't know how he doesn't, he doesn't know. know when he they knows. go to the bathroom. You fucking know. <laughs> hey, we never talked about you clogging the toilet again. <laughs> yeah, he clogged it and left. He's all, you guys deal with it. He left a giant fucking dookie 
in one of the <laughs> toilets, and he was like, I got somewhere to be. I got to go. He's like, you guys worry about it. I can't do it. Yeah. I think the most offensive part is that the door was left open. Yep. I believe that was intended to air it out, but it just aired it out into the studio, so. <laughs> really? You <laughs> left the door open? Yeah, it was, it was bad. It's the I'm glad I worked. Uh, oh, God. I was standing next to Ian. I was all the way by the fridge. I'm like, Ian, did you fucking shit your pants, bro? And what the fuck is that smell? And then I followed it, and I realized that the door was open. So it had some distance on it. It was pretty impressive. <laughs> I don't know if impressive is the right word for it. I mean, it, it had some range. Uh, if it, yeah, I guess AB, so. AB, like, puked, man. From the stench of it. I did cough. Vigorously, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, gag. That's what I was looking for. Ooh. We should know. We should mention that he was in a hurry for Alfredo, or no, Shredder. Shredder. That's Shredder. true. Shredder. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. It's, to be it's fair, okay. And also to his credit, I offered it to take care of it. And he said, "No, no, no. He wants to take care of it himself." So, did he take care of it? Is it? I didn't even check. Why'd you it? offer to take care? Yeah, that's what I was. Thinking. Dude, I used to work at a doctor's office. There's some <laughs> fucked up shit, man. Old people used to drop their phones in the toilet. And I had to oh. fucking dig them out. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I don't with your gag reflex, oh, you yeah. gag all the time. I could deal with that kind of shit. I just can't deal with like nasty Ugh. foods and shit like that. You but, can sift through shit, but you can't deal with nasty foods. I rather. Wait, did you shift? I rather did put you my hands in shit. We are different people. To fucking wait, taking like a shot of ranch. To be honest, we are different people. You and me. you actually went in there like with your hand in the poo poo. I would put gloves <laughs> in the poo poo. <laughs> you know, you know, I see your mindset on that one, AB. Yeah, because I think I'd rather touch shit than like eat Greek yogurt or something like that. <laughs> God, really? Yeah, oh, without a doubt, I'd, I'd rather eat the shit. That is okay, bro. I'll make you a poop snowman, fucking with <laughs> a poop Play-Doh snowman before I fucking poop do uh, uh, a shot of ranch. What? what? I get the I get the mindset. I totally Thank get you, the sorry. mindset. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sorry. He was back. Wait, oh, AB, you don't riveting, like ranch? Riveting conversation. I know, yeah. No, I don't like ranch. <laughs> Is it because it's like garlic forward? I know you hate That's garlic. That's part of it, yeah. I have a question for you guys here at this office. Hmm. Mm. You have so much candy here. What is going on in this office? A lot of it gets bought to do stuff on the show, and then people send us some, and really? I don't know. It like. It's a good point. There is a lot of candy over there. We just got <laughs> a bunch. It's of, just like been accumulating. We just got a bunch of French candy recently, right? Somebody sent us. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, like a huge box of uh, French yeah. candy. Oh, we want to sh shout out uh, who that was. What was their name? Loic Reviews. Loic Reviews, yeah. So that's part of it. Um, but I mean, is there a problem? The candy? Yeah. It just kind of looks like somebody who's really high on weed is having like a, <laughs> who bought a candy all moment. The groceries. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm gonna go get some. Dan, you're getting weed? <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Well, I noticed that too when I was in America. I'm just like, <laughs> it's like, I can't stop myself either. If there's candy, I'll eat it. Right. But, it, but when I'm alone, I never buy candy for myself. But, I mean, it's probably yeah. not great for Ethan. Dan said he's going to get <laughs> right. candy, and he's coming back with chips. This is your, this is your candy? I saw the chips, and I got excited. You wanted the salty. Some dandy candy. <sighs> is the toilet about well, to be clogged? Moment? What do we At think? At least we got a got an answer to what Ethan was going to do. Right, we got yeah. our answer. Probably, probably safe to assume by now. He doesn't do number two. It's a number three. <laughs> right. I feel like if you don't know what's gonna happen, you know what's gonna happen. Right. That makes right. sense. <laughs> that is exactly it. Yeah. It's like The Bachelor when at the last three and they're going to fantasy suite. It's like, you know. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. tells everybody they yeah. don't know yet. They know. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy to not know. Exactly. Like I know in this most recent finale, he's like, I don't know where I'm gonna be tomorrow. I'm like, how do you not know so where you're gonna be tomorrow? obvious who he was gonna pick. Yeah. It was so obvious. And he sli still chose to sleep with the other girl before. That's how the show goes, though. <laughs> yes. 
Bachelor sucks, though. I stopped watching it. So boring. I stopped watching halfway through the season. Yeah. yeah. I, I was so behind. I watched the we finale. We just put on the I finale. I didn't even know uh, yeah. one of the girls' names. I was mm -hmm. like, I... So I'm boring. So checked out at this point. Are you watching Farmer Finds a Wife? No, I'm watching Breaking Bad for the first time. Wow. Oh, oh. For the first and, time. And, and, yeah, I've never started it, <laughs> oh and I'm obsessed with it. It's all I want to watch. Yeah. You can't keep getting away with it. Dan's just snacking. <laughs> this is the real two zone right here. Right. Sick stuff. <clears throat> Zach Lewis oh, no. live with the Roxy, folks. Oh. I was waiting for it. This is the right. <laughs> <record. laughs> like a compulsion at that. May 13th. May 13th. Just throwing that out there. Last LA show. Last LA show. I got something I want to plug. If you're uh, in Chicago or the Chicago area um, and you're going to uh, C2E2 this weekend, my girlfriend Allie will be there. She's got a booth. So oh, drop by and say hello. Go Let's buy go. everything from Allie. Hey, in Chicago, C2E2. It's C2 a great e place. <laughs> and go see Allie. I'm going to watch some anime and get going to the anime convention. That's right. My Out good pal John Way Gacy has got a pool cleaning service. Nice. We love it. What you guys got planned this weekend? Anything fun? Us? Um, well, it's Passover, so we're doing that with the family at our house. Nice. So that's a little bit scary. It's like we're going to have like 15 people or something like that. Do you, um, guys, do you guys have that many every year? This time we have more actually because we also invited a friend and my brother from New York is out here oh, with sweet. a girlfriend, so it's a little bit more than usual. Passover is Wednesday, right? Is that when like the official holiday is? I think so. I think we're not doing it on the actual day. Mm. <laughs> they That's realize smart. later. That's smart. I hope you have a beautiful time with the big family there. Thank you. Me too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sounds fun. And besides that, every weekend for us is just survival. It's just like, it's us and the boys. Like, who's gonna get to sleep at night? Who, we, <laughs> we take turns. If one of us was up late, then the other one sleeps and we take turns. And it's just survival. It's the only way I can describe it. But they're so cute. They are so cute. They're ridiculously cute. I suppose that helps, doesn't it? It does help. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more trouble during the night? Bruce. Really? Mm -hmm. Theodore used to go to sleep 6.30 until 6.30. King. It's crazy. 12 hours of sleep, nothing. We would go and check on him to make sure he's breathing. <laughs> nothing. And then Bruce is like, if he sleeps three hours without noise, you're lucky. Um, we've actually got to a point now where I have to take Bruce with me to bed. And Ethan has to sleep in another bed because really? when Ethan comes in the middle of the night and he's on his phone and he's watching stuff, Bruce wakes up and then I wake up and then we're all up all night. Mm. So we figured out that if Ethan is not there, Bruce is sleeping better. But like, that's just, <laughs> yeah, just gotta do whatever works. The routine. <sighs> It's tough because we, I was so proud with Theodore, we were able to like get him to sleep in his bed and we never did the co-sleep thing. But I don't know, with Bruce it's just not like that. So, but they're so different and it's so funny. Like during the day, Bruce is also becoming more trouble <laughs> than Theodore sometimes, which is very crazy. <laughs> like he's, he's starting to walk, he's not He's not fully walking yet, but he can do like six steps. But he's climbing on everything. He's a climber. Mm. And if you're not looking for one second, he's on the table. Mm. Crazy. So <laughs> talented, really? Yeah. All the way on, on the table. Yeah. He already knows where's the candy in our pantry. I don't know <laughs> how. Ooh, he is Ethan's son. He's going <laughs> into college. Um... The other day I saw Theodore, we have like those uh, safety things on the electric uh, outlets, outlets. Mm -hmm. and we have a shredder in my office and it's unplugged just for safety. So Theodore took out the safety thing from the plug, then plugged in the shredder and started shredding our mail. 
Oh. Mm. All by himself. Uh oh. <laughs> That's like the ultimate little. <laughs> so That's like the best so way dull. to mess you guys over. It's like, what is going on? He's not even four yet. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to help. He's all business. <laughs> And now they're teaming up on the, like, because Theodore thinks it's so funny. It's like, we're doing trouble. And they're <laughs> together, like, if Bruce, like, accidentally pours water on the, like, it happened last night. Bruce spilled water on the table in the living room. And he starts playing with it like this. And then Teddy's just cracking up laughing. And he's like, yes, go, Bruce, go, Bruce. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Real quick, there's Red... Before you get back, uh, there's a ten dollar donation from Sam Fuller, or ten pound donation. Hey, who's Sam? That they are uh, pitching to score their biggest movie yet, stars Al Pacino in it. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. That's awesome. As long as he's not selling Dunkin' Donuts, I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. Dunkachino. <laughs> the Dunkachino, yeah. Okay, first of all, what did you say about me clogging toilets? Because I feel like I need to defend myself. Well, what he just said, happened today? Did, how did it go? Yeah. Fine. Okay. <laughs> no clog. <laughs> good, good, good. We yeah, said yeah. that you clogged the toilet, and then you had somewhere important to be for Shredder, and so you didn't have time to deal with it, <laughs> and so you left with the door open to air it out, which made oh the whole place... Oh, my God. <laughs> That's... Dude, I closed the door and stacked like a whole bunch of shit in front of it. Who says I open, left it open? This man said it was You're like, a liar. It was like, open. It was you so are somebody lying, opened it. bro. <laughs> Ian was it not open yesterday? I didn't go look, but <laughs> I you, didn't see. You said, "Oh, it stinks." And Why are you I lying you like look. that? <laughs> Maybe someone else w tried to go in there. Yeah, <laughs> you Maybe. remember? I stacked a bunch of shit in front. I closed the door. I said, "Guys, I remember you doing that last time." I don't. I did not witness you stack things in front of the door this time. You said, but I also least, didn't see that it was open. Go so close that's, the lid. This is between you and AB. It's I didn't. Not, I never saw. I it got open. nothing to do with AB. Remember, you said at least listen to me. I didn't see the door. Listen. <laughs> you said go close the lid. Remember that? I said yeah. Don't close the lid. So I went. I moved everything out of the way. I closed the lid. Right. Closed the door and put everything back. Okay. I'm not saying I disbelieve you. I'm just reporting what's been reported to me. <coughs> okay, well, he's lying. I left early yesterday to take Allie to the airport, and so I did not witness the or the smell. <coughs> and the first thing I did when I came back, I went in there. The poop had gone down. I cleaned it with the brush. Oh, you did? Okay, because yeah. I first walked in there, and I was like... <coughs> Walking right back out because it, it was down. <laughs> there was no poop in there, but it looked like nasty. I went in like there, a bomb. I cleaned it with the brush. Mm. Uh, there were some skid marks this morning. Yeah, we, yeah you were here awful. before I was. I told you not to. I, I said I, I'll clean it when I get back. Mm. How could how can I clean skid marks if I'm not here? I thought you were referring <laughs> to you came back yesterday. No, I can't. No. When I got here, oh, okay. I took the brush, I cleaned out the shit. <laughs> what can I do? I, I, what could I have done? Yeah. I had to leave. Yeah, I agree. I, You're not in the wrong here. I, mm -hmm. But then now AB's lying on me for some reason. <laughs> That's some silly shit. I'm back. Did in you AB go back? Here. Did you go back to check it after, like after the show? We were hanging out for a while. Didn't you go back in there for something? I forget what it was. To close the lid. Yeah. Oh, okay. That he was said that, the and then yeah. he said he restacked. Oh, okay. Stuff. Well, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, it may have been someone else. Mm -hmm. They went in there and just left it. I didn't say it was specifically you, but. Did he, what did he say, Dan? I mean, I may have at the point, at the... He said, all he said was that the door was open and it stunk up the studio. That's not true. Is it, was anyone else here for the, for the stunk? For the stank? I was. It, it did <laughs> it I do did remember smell. the stank. Yeah, it smelled. That's bullshit. We I have three people reporting stank, dude. It's stanky. Whatever. I closed the fucking door. It was smeary this morning. How dude. can we fix your poop Shit. schedule? Because for me, I always go in the morning before I, I leave the house. I don't have a schedule. Does it just hit you at a random time? Because on leftovers, yes. as soon as the show started, you're like, yeah. "Shit, I gotta shit." <laughs> yes, it just hits me at random times of the day. Could be morning, could be afternoon, could be night. That's crazy. And it is what it is, I guess. Tough life. Well, yeah. <laughs> what strikes me as a bit weird is how you, I think you need poop etiquette, like flushing etiquette. You need to poop a litter and then flush, 
flash the poop. Yeah, or flush. he's right. There's no courtesy. <laughs> you don't flush, know right? what you're talking no, about. No, flush throughout. It's there's no flushing yeah. throughout. It's not like that. There's courtesy flushes. No, he he's trying to say that it's continuous. Yeah, one contiguous log. There's no moment to flush. <laughs> And I'm you not standing like a... up. I'm not. I, the water's not splashing my ass, and I'm definitely not standing up because it's not. It's not ready to be standing. Then the toilet is gonna clog. Mm -hmm. If you're not ready to do that, it's gonna clog. Fine. I closed the door. There's two bathrooms here. There's not that many people here. I closed the door. I will I said, say there's also two more downstairs. Yeah, there's like a so good bathrooms. Technically, there was four here. bathrooms. You, there's two bathrooms downstairs, and there's like nobody there. Okay. Yeah. Spare me, All baby. Right. <laughs> well. Yeah. Somehow we don't get trouble like that at home, so... Because, the to yeah, no, the toilets are more powerful. I admit, I don't know, for whatever reason, I've been dropping some big-ass monsters here. <laughs> well, I'm sure you do the same at home. It's a rare kind of thing. I don't do know Do we why. need to get you a massive toilet? No, like you said, I never clog the ones at home. <laughs> These ones are just. Uh, do they little... make like oversized? Does toilets? the size of the toilet matter? Or no. Serial huge. Well, no, but so... take. No, Does some size matter. <laughs> Guys, some toilets have a stronger flush. We I don't know. know that. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's. Oh, this looks interesting. <laughs> I don't need a strong flushing uh, toilet. I mean, I do, but. Because that's dangerous too. You strong know. Flush? Why? Wow. Yeah. Like when uh, Larry has the strong pee <coughs> on curb, mm -hmm. it splashes back at you. You don't well, want you don't want to mess with that. No, good toilets to flush hard, they flush it down, down. not out. <laughs> <laughs> like for example, our toilets at home, I could be on the mm -hmm. bowl, flush, and it doesn't splash my ass at all. Right. Now yeah. here, I wouldn't do that because you're gonna mm. get shit water on your ass. And, and if I stand up, my cheeks are gonna spread, smash like a fucking <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ew. <laughs> and we, can, and we considered maybe it's not <laughs> the poop itself. Like, are you putting wipes on there? No, that's what I thought. So how are you wiping your ass, <laughs> guys? You don't. You really. Need... Yeah, I'm just. There's a lot of there, asses that, that use those clogged. bathrooms all day. I do. There are wet wipes in there. There are specifically in that bathroom. That's the only he one. He doesn't do. use wet wipes. Do guys, you? no, of course no, not. We don't. Guys, we listen. We lying? banned those. It clogs before the paper even hits the drain. <laughs> That's right. not possible, dude. I'm telling I mean, you. I think I think you're using too many wipes. Zach, why are you calling me a fucking liar? Because I think I you're lying. Anything. Zach, when do I lie about anything, Zach? You know what? I'm Zach, with Zach on this one. You're going against the family. <laughs> AB, you're just saying that because you fucking got caught lying about me. <laughs> And now you're trying to like save face. Why I literally you... said I would clean your shit. This is I don't this... care. I told you no. I, I know you told me no. I, okay, I know you told me no. I, know I don't you... want you to clean my shit. I know you don't. I know. So you... why do you say that? I'm saying because I'm to that extent I'm willing to try to help, but I'm being persecuted. How are you helping? You are, you are. Listen, he gave perfectly plausible explanations for why he didn't say you left the door open. But then the when you were talking about open. it, it was implied. You said yeah. you left the door open and to let it air out. Right. There was an accusation. That was, that's what you said. And if that's the information that, that AB was, that gave was you, that, was that is a but little bit that. suspicious. That. that was convinced. And by so the way, I, AB, you don't get to hide behind this, oh, I said I clean your <laughs> shit out of the toilet. <laughs> That's, I'm not, I said no, okay? Yeah, I know you said well, no. I, I backed his story. I, and I also use that hey, to- one at a time. This is my show. You guys listen, I talk. Why are you getting kind of defensive there, Ethan? Zach. Zach, you're going against the family. I'm I cannot sorry. believe what I'm, I'm, I'm witnessing I'm, today. I'm just, I- Zach, quiet. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> oh. I just want to give a quick shout out to all the foot soldiers out there that are sitting down for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. I hope you're having Guys. a lovely meal. Quiet. All right. Here we go. I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> Listen, Zach. AB, you saying, oh, I was going to wipe your shit. You came here and you lied on my name. <laughs> Even that point was still the thing. You, it's people stupid. are. I'm people, not going to tell I, you yes, wipe my shit. I, I said no. Don't I know. Go in there. I know. You don't sound like a saint because you had oh let you me. Were your shit, pastor, you were in the bathroom. People and then you come out here and embarrass me when I'm not even here to defend myself. <laughs> okay, watch it back later. Watch my back later. Watch it back <laughs> watch later. Back. I thought you said watch your back later. <laughs> watch your back. <laughs> <laughs>
this man told me watch my back. Like I said, I'm just gonna <laughs> bring. I'm gonna just bring a, a right whiteboard. Now. I'm bring a whiteboard. I'll just write on it. From now on. Just for the record, I do not support that threat. That was just me. <laughs> watch your back. Watch your for. back later. I swear that that's what I heard. That wasn't called for anything. And Zach, shame on you, bro. Why would I lie about the amount? Mm -hmm. Why would I lie about it? Well, you have explained about everything, and I come here and I'm lying about the how the toilet clogged. Why you would you accuse me of that? You haven't explained how you wiped your ass. With toilet paper. Okay, so I'm telling it, you, it, it clogged before the paper even hit the drain, bro. It was how, a massive hmm, pile. How do you know that, though? How many? Because the shit didn't even go down. There was so much of it. Is it possible? Right. It was the like a toilet big paper. mound of shit. What is it's vile. On, it's vile. And now y'all fucking want the stupid ass details. You should call me a liar. It's a big fucking pile of shit, and it wouldn't cl go down the drain, bro. <laughs> well, I'm saying it could be a don't... combo. I'm saying the paper didn't. The poop hadn't gone down. The paper was above the shit, bro. <laughs> it, I've seen. It got corked. So it, got, I, it got instantly corked. That, yes. That and toilet I've, is yeah. fucked up then. And I've sat in there. It should be able to do its work. Yeah. I think so. By yeah. the way, you're using toilet paper? I thought of so much more than of you than using toilet paper. As opposed to what? The wipes are bad. Did you use the bidet? No, I don't use communal bidets. It's weird. Wash your back, mm -hmm. dude. Wait, so who does <laughs> use those wipes that are in there? Is that you, Zach? No, I use the bidet. It's, yeah, why are they there? Good I think question. it's Zach. No, I Wait. use the bidet. Hmm. I use wipes at oh. home. I fuck, you know, fuck it, but... Uh, yeah, fuck the landlord. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Listen. I have respect. <laughs> I, I respect you guys. <laughs> Enough to, you know, fuck not leave city. a toilet clogged. No, it's like mortar, bro. It's like straight up mortar, like a whole pound of it. And so it doesn't... The, Tissue doesn't even get a chance to go down the drain. And I've <laughs> stayed there in the bathroom. I call it the act of God because it's not like solid. It's only a matter of time before it weakens and goes down. And I keep flushing uh -huh. to keep the pressure on it. And when God acts to relieve <laughs> that on his own without me intervening, I yeah. watch the toilet paper goes down with no problem. So this mm -hmm. dump was an act of God. No, the flushing was an act of God. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I have a question, or a, a suggestion. What if you, like, shit on the edge? So it doesn't really, like, clog it fully. It's a dangerous so, game. I think that's bad. It's, it's, shit on the uh, edge of risky. what? It, that's even the, the goal, bro. <laughs> what if? This is the solution, dude. Not on the edge of, or, like, on top He's of the saying on the like, side of the bowl, off-center. So off I think that's yeah, off even center. worse, off because center. you no, want it in the water. Have you ever heard the expression, <laughs> shit rolls downhill, love? Uh, yeah. No. Literal in this it will, it will, It will spread out, and it will allow a slight bit of water to pass by, and you can flush, 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 flush. I hate those, because... Lately, Theodore has massive shits, and his shit kind of hits on the side of the bowl because so <laughs> he's not big well, enough, you know. Yeah, and <laughs> it's disgusting. Those are terrible. I, I, I do not recommend. It's so gross. Mark man. I, I asked Chat GPT. I said, "Should I be concerned if I have giant poops?" Okay. I am not a doctor, but I can provide some general information. If you're experiencing <laughs> unusually large bowel movements. It can be due to a variety of factors, including diet, hydration, exercise habits. However, you're experiencing pain, no, blood, no, significant changes in bowel habits. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Or other concerning symptoms, important to consult with the doctor. No, just massive shits. I'll say nope, <laughs> nope, no blood or pain, just well, massive seem, dumps. You, you, I, I don't think you're asking the right question by phrasing it as being massive. It's... When you describe it as being like mortar, okay, it sounds okay, like okay. it's way too fucking. You're shitting bricks. No, it's not mm. bricks. It's like it's like liquid concrete. Sure, right. It's like <laughs> okay. it's, a, it's like a putty <laughs> material. My right. my poop <laughs> is like um, it's not really hard though. It comes out no problem. It's like it's, a clay. I feel like yeah, if it were softer, clay. the suction of the toilet would just suck it down anyway. It's like it doesn't have a lot really of suction, matter. dude. Well, maybe you need right. stool softener. No. It's soft. That's what I'm saying. It's soft. Have you felt yeah. it? Have you felt? He's... I haven't felt it. I mean, I felt it coming out of my butt. But he's not like constipated, you know. No, no. I do think that the bathroom on the left side has less of a powerful flush than the one on the right so side. So maybe that's mm -hmm. the problem. So just... I think the toilet is the problem. Seriously. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Elizabeth. Nobody supports me around here. That being well, said, I live with you. I if it was a problem at home, I would have known that Thank the you. problem is you. Wait, I just I just want to test something. Next time you take a shit, can you do it in the other bathroom? <laughs> I, I have clogged say, that you, one. You oh, you have. Yeah, I have clogged, clogged that one too. But I think you're less likely to clog the right than the left. <laughs> no, so. I'll, I'll tell you what's happening. I don't know why, but sometimes, for whatever reasons, like 
I had pizza or something. Then the poop comes out, like a lot of it, probably because I'm not digesting a lot of that garbage. Like my body doesn't want it. And it's just like a huge pile of shit, like a lot. You're selling yourself short right now. When do you eat pizza? Well, I did the other day, and then it, it happened, and I clogged the toilet. I'm just using. Okay. It happens sometimes. I'll eat. You're gonna something. eat it regularly. I see what you eat every evening. No, I know it doesn't happen all the time. I'm just saying these, these clogging shits happen usually because of something I did or something I ate. No, those are happening way more than you eating pizza. Right, but it could be that I had like a gnarly like Mexican feast with lots of salsa or something. And it's just all coming out of me, is what I mean. So there's a lot coming out of me, and I promise you guys, like I swear to you right now, like let me don't because now this became like a big deal. Let me get out paint. <laughs> like I need to. You guys really fucking put me in this position. What do you call the do paint? You, well, we gotta find a solution because we can't keep. We can't keep doing. Well, that it. one went down. That one was fine. After 24 hours. No, 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 I just took that's a dump. Fine. It went down. Oh, that one, right. Yeah. yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, usually, that's the only time I had ever had to leave it there. Yeah. God forbid. Do you have, um, IBS? I mean, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Nothing to do about it, though. Right, no. So it's like, oh, yeah. So, yeah, your shit's fucked up. <laughs> There's nothing you can do about it, though. <sighs> Happy shitting. I don't think I have IBS. It's not that bad. How do I do um, drawing, uh, drawing okay. uh, website? I just need something to draw on so I can show you guys. Here, sketchpad.io. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, let me see. Okay, I'm not going to make it gross. I just want to show you guys. So, here is, let's say, the bowl. Okay. What is poop knife? Everybody keeps typing that. Poop knife? That's not a thing. Don't I say that. Poop what is it? It's a whole urban legend thing from... Oh, it comes out of the toilet? Doo -doo. Somebody assassinates you? No, no, I think it, it, I think it was... It all originated from somebody on Reddit explaining how they discovered that their family was the only one with a poop knife. They thought everybody had one. <laughs> and it was basically a knife by the toilet for when your shit is super huge. You'd use oh it. Oh my god. Stick it in there and break That's it up. That's what, I, if I had wow. that, there'd be no problem. Doo -doo. Yeah. I, I don't know if it was a real story or if it was somebody being funny. I could funny. see that being a real uh, thing. But yeah. I okay. think that's the origin of it. Okay, so, so here's the bowl, okay? okay? This is the bowl. The seat is here. I'm just, I'm just showing you the bowl now. They, um, <clears throat> now, the drain, uh, let's say, is about, you know. This. Somebody said it's real. My friend has one. <laughs> they sell gag ones. Stop it. I mean, how big would you say the hole is? It's like, I don't know, this big, right? It's not enormous. Mm -hmm. Goes in. That is small. Hole. That's a small hole? Was that a sound bite? I think it's pretty small. Yeah, hole. it's pretty small. Okay, so let's say like this big? I don't know. Better. Well, the thing is it it goes in. Yeah. But let's just There's say this curve. is the hole, okay? So here's what's happening. It's filling up the hole all the way. Okay. And then it's ma making a huge mound outside the hole this yeah. big. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. And it's Jesus. going up high. <laughs> it's filling all this. The hole is full and it's making a mound this big. Yeah. It's like stuffed. And so when you flush it, there's almost no like. You could use the fill tool to uh, paint and pick brown and very. No, I'm not. I don't want to gross people out too much. <laughs> There's just, and then so the, t and Zach, the toilet paper's all here, right? So Why would you put it on the top? It's here, it's all, it it's here, matter. it's on top, dude. What do you want from me? Well, there, there's, there's a science to it, but okay, proceed. What's the science? To proceed! <laughs> What's the science, Zach? There's a science to it. What's the science? Zach? Well, why would you put the, the toilet paper? I just drop it in the toilet, wherever it falls, there but shall you're, be buried. You, you lift your balls and you go from back to front, right? It, yeah. Right? Yes. Right, okay. So why would you let it towards the front? Wouldn't it be more on the back or center? Oh, where you, you drop the toilet paper? What? <laughs> okay. I can't believe you well, guys well, you, you are not making okay, hold sense. On, hold on, hold on. When you wipe, you look at it, right? Yeah, usually. Yeah. So, that explains it. Yeah, but why would you put it... I, you, I, I wipe my ass, and then I put it down in the bowl. Okay, we're not... But it could it. be anywhere. It's okay, fine. Here. It's all fine. over the fucking fine. place, Okay, man. you don't have to get mad. Don't have to get mad. 
Please proceed. Well, you guys are trying to frame me as some shit. I didn't. I. I am just killer. a messenger. Okay. I just. Just relay. Ab got real quiet now. <laughs> Ab threatened you. <laughs> I know that was not cool. I got nothing to say. Oh my I god. I got nothing to do with this. So you, but you think I left the door open? Maybe. No. If you're saying you didn't, then you didn't. I believe you didn't. But it was open. But I'm not saying it was you. There are a lot of people confused by the back to front situation. Oh, we've been over that. Uh, we've we talked this. about we can't, it. I can't. Go back. We can make a lore video on yeah. this alone. Yeah. We, could, yeah. Like, it's so we don't need to, to have that to conversation again. Some people I can't believe you guys front. have to scoop your balls. We've talked about this. This was a huge topic of conversation yeah. in previous years. But we've, just to uh, summarize, some people wipe from the front, me and others. There are others like me out there. We took a poll that was like, 35 40 percent i think 40 percent maybe yeah it was like 60 40 something like that yeah and so i would lift my balls and scoop <laughs> and then <laughs> the other people go I'm from the back up. which i don't find possible i can't swipe from the back <laughs> doesn't make sense. There's a highlight on it, you guys. This want. does not make sense at all. And this <laughs> only applies to men, as far as I know, because women really shouldn't do that. Right. Yeah, but you know, well, you, you're no. like, you no. know how to not get shit in your vagina. No! <laughs> That's not... It's like, I don't get shit under my balls. How do you know? No. No. I guess... How do you know? I just, I've never felt like I've wiped up my ball sack. Kind of hard to look down there, isn't it? But I guess there's the stakes are not as high for me as for as for ladies. You know what I mean? The stakes are lower. Yeah. A lot of people are just learning about the front uh, back uh, back yeah. wipe. We can do a poll. Just goes to show how much uh, our audience has evolved over the yeah. years. Yeah. Because that was such a major topic. There's probably about 25 hours of H3 podcast <laughs> footage yeah. debating this. <laughs> Over the, over, the, over the course of many, many and we episodes. we used to ask every guest. Yeah, it was too. a common guest question. Oh, that is still a good question. I forgot about that. No, one. no. Bert I Kreischer think we've was, moved on. We've from moved this. on. We've, we've moved, moved on. on. We've resolved it. I mean, yeah. we get it. We Bert get it. is actually a front wiper. We learned. Yeah. So we right. bonded over that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a lot more women, so I'm assuming there's not going to be as many front wipers as before. But let's do a poll. I'm curious now. Can we do? No, I'm a woman. Yes, I'm a woman. And to uh, DA9 is a cancer free king. Thank you, State of Texas. I do believe that I've met women who have confessed to wiping from the front. Really? Yeah. I mean, they're out there. You know, they're out there. I cannot imagine. So, front for clarity means going under the legs this way. Back, of course, is like that yeah. behind the back. I'm front to back. Wait. You're back to front. You're back to front. Oh, so I'm confused on my own bad, bad pull, then. You're the one who does it like that. I voted for the wrong one. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so... front to back. <laughs> yeah, front. this is confusing. Wait, it is. That's a bad poll. No. Oh. Do you wipe I think from the front? You, well, then you. you, you, you the yeah, you need to say wipe from the front or wipe from the back. Okay. Bad poll. <laughs> <laughs> wipe from you, the front. But wait, can we add women from and men? From the back. Like. Women wipe from front, women wipe know? from back. So let's do one for just for the women. Men wipe. Okay. So just well, do we can do both in just one. Just for yeah, the ladies. Yeah, you could do both in one. Just oh. You know, good idea. Okay. And this then one just goes out to the ladies. Thir add a third option that you're that you're a man or whatever. N-A. Not applicable at all. <laughs> so front means you go from the front. Back means you go from the back. Yes. This is for the ladies back only. Being the right way. Wait, I thought you wanted me to do it in front. <laughs> being the wrong way. This is for the ladies. <laughs> Wiping is optional. Okay, I'll just do. I'll do just. Okay, okay. Just the ladies, front or back. Third option for N A. If being a lady, wiping does not apply to you. Wiping is optional. Stop, Zach. <laughs> Okay, so I'm N.A. because, you know, I'm not Okay. Not having a vagina. Dude, okay, at first that was really close. 30%, Hila, 30% wipe from the front. Whoa. 33%, it's going up. What? 
Yo, that's crazy. Some people say both. This is for pooping. This is for pooping, not peeing. Because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you wipe. Peeing, I think this one is even more confusing. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Because from the front <laughs> is from the... The first one was way better. Front from back, it, back though. from front. From the front yeah, but this one is means confusing. back This is a back hole you came up with, Ethan. Yeah. Uh -huh. from I don't the know. Back it's a front means front to back. back. I mean, I'll yeah. front or back. Let front. me... Let me... I... The Lift show's the balls. entire history has been front to we're back. We're talking back about to women, front. so no balls. Okay. So if no, we're... <laughs> I'm just describing what I, how I do it, and how Ethan does it. So Wait, does you wipe like Lisa? Yes, absolutely. Weren't you just making fun of me? No, no. you guys have talked about. Zach's this always before. been on your side. Oh, good yeah. man. In yeah. As a matter of fact, little preview for the Zach Lore video, which is on its way. Uh, where we've we've completed the uh, assembly and collecting all the clips. So I would say probably. Uh, Next weekend, like by the end of next week, where we will be uh, launching that lore. Very exciting. But anyways, this one is a juggernaut. It's a juggernaut, <laughs> and mm -hmm. Zach's first appearance on the podcast was him chiming in that he wipes like you. <laughs> Good Been man. his supporter since day one, brother. That's why we bonded so. Yep, quickly. that's right. No, he yeah. instantly became the golden. Something about the Jewish <laughs> and the wiping, you know. <laughs> Just connect. So you want to do another poll? Because according to this, thirty-six percent are wiping. From oh. Right. I don't think this. This says, yeah, forty-eight percent wipe, for, like, from all of the it back. front, and this is for the ladies. No, no, no. Yeah, forty-eight percent from the back, which means that they bring it forward. No, See, it's, oh my it's a god, call. means you come from here. Okay. Well, the front means you come from here. I see. You're talking about like the scooting action. Yeah. Uh, so, so you guys are thinking of it in a different way. You're talking about so which confused. direction yeah. you wipe. Because I was thinking you go from the back or the front. You're talking I, about hand placement. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't talking about which way you scoop. I see. So, so there is confusion here. Uh -huh. We have mm. confusion. Yeah. This is a bad poll, Dan. <laughs> Don't look at me. You created it. Yeah, I thought this was the way, but I see a lot of confusions. confusion happening in the comments, too. Oh... Uh, Got it. I guess we'll move on. Anyways, I'm um, sorry, guys. I, 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 I literally, I didn't know what to do because I clogged it and I literally had to go to the specialist for shredder. I didn't have an option. I wasn't even to intending do. to poop, but I, I like hit me, <laughs> and I was running. Well, if there was no shredder. intention. Then, no. You know, <laughs> no hard feelings. And I. Do not expect anyone to go clean my shit for Christ's sake. I says, no, don't even ask me that. No, you would never. Never. I think you're in the right here. Yeah, definitely. I'm in the right. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Having said that, according to AB, watch your back. <laughs> I did hear watch my back. Maybe you should grab that. I want to hear it back. <laughs> he said, watch your back later. I said, watch it back later. And well, I, that makes more sense. I yeah. still think you should. Because I was like, why are you threatening me, bro? It's not that serious. <laughs> Watch your profanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. So we talked about, we didn't talk about Trump. That's in the title. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Big yeah. News. Oh, boy. Oh, here he is, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he did a big one. <laughs> this is the this is the one we've all been waiting for. Big news! Donald Trump has been indicted in Manhattan. The grand jury just voted to indict Donald Trump for his hush money payments to Stormy Daniels. This is big news. <laughs> Thank you, Dash. The play, somebody made a. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh boy! Big, oh boy! Big news. Oh boy. There's also oh a boy. new version big of this news. in the doc. I haven't heard big news. Oh boy. There is? Yeah, it's uh, towards the top of the show. Oh, it's not the same guy. Though. It's not the same guy, but it's a contender. It's really yeah. it's pretty good. Number 13 in the top of the show. Thank you. Let's take a look. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, my lord. Yes, sir. <laughs> what? Oh, He's like a yes, barbecue sir, guy. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. We got to combine oh, that. Yes, now, now, yes, here, do me. Now, play the big news, oh, boy, at the same time. Oh, my lord. Oh, boy. Big news, mommy. Yes, 
That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so Trump got indicted. Um, basically, for what happened is uh, he... He's a fucking idiot is what happened. He broke the law. Some dumb shit. Back when he was running for president, he paid off Stormy Daniels, who he had an affair with. 120,000, mm-hmm. I think, or 60. 130. No, no, no. 130,000 to not uh, share the story with the press. She agreed. And to keep it quiet, what they did is they had Michael Cohen, who went to jail for this act, specific crime. He, Michael Cohen, Trump's attorney at the time, paid her the 130000 And then Trump reimbursed him from campaign funds. Yes. Now, this broke several laws mm-hmm. uh, in, in an effort to cover up the payment. And so but it's, it's important to remember, Michael Cohen went to jail for that crime that he did for Donald Trump. That's okay. why he went to jail. It, it wasn't the Nike? No, that was, uh, yeah, no, that that's, was uh, that was the other idiot. Avenatti. Oh, Avenatti. Yeah. Avenatti. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. The goat. <laughs> Got and, it. And by the way, it's interesting. So confused. Okay. I, there's all there's a lot of yes. shit bags in the story. <laughs> yes. And so what's interesting is if I think back to the conservatives, a lot of them were like, "Oh, Cohen, he's just a criminal in jail. Don't listen to him." I remember that. I remember being confused. Like if if his attorney is going to jail for it, why why aren't we talking about the person who hired him to do it? He's a mobster. He he did. He's doing racketeering. Mm-hmm. He had someone else commit the crime yeah. for him. That's why Michael Cohen did it did. and not him. Yes. Right. That was the crime. That's what mobsters do. And then he still turned on him, right? <laughs> Trump. Well, well Michael Cohen, they kind of turned on each other. I don't know the timeline of it. Yeah. But thick as thieves for sure. And yeah. Michael Cohen's still on a Donald Trump hate uh, <laughs> hate tour. But so Michael Cohen, Trump paid back Michael Cohen from campaign funds. Now, that you can't. You need to disclose what you spend your campaign funds on. So mm-hmm. right off the bat, he misappropriated campaign funds, which in New York State is a crime. And then <laughs> the other layer of it is he like falsified the business books to hide it, mm. which is also a crime. And then mm-hmm. when you falsify the business books to conceal a crime— in New York City, that specifically is a felony. Mm. Okay? So they've been investigating this for a long time. They've got a grand jury, which is, you know, a secret group of people who look over the evidence and then decide, are we going to um, indict him, mm-hmm. arrest him, essentially, and try him? And in the grand jury... The majority of people voted. It's all secret what happens there, but one thing we do know is because he is getting indicted is that the grand jury, the majority agreed that the evidence was compelling enough that he should be indicted. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Um, But what's interesting is that in the grand jury, there was over two dozen specific charges. Really? We don't know what they are. As of going live today, let me see if any more information. Because again, everything that. happens in the grand jury is very uh, secret. CNN do, reported do it was know? 34 charges. Whoa. We don't know what they are. No, do we know what kind of punishment he's facing? I think it's like a um, couple years in jail. Okay. That's what Michael Cohen did. I mean, how long was Michael Cohen in jail for? I think he was sentenced to two years or something, and he got out after like six months or something but, like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't remember, but... When Cohen went against the family, mm-hmm. a lot of the conservative media discounted him as a criminal. He's in jail. So that, right? So I don't think they had a problem with Michael Cohen going to jail for that. But now that Trump gets arrested for it, it's an outrage. I'm sure they have some kind of talking point about it. And they convince themselves. I don't know. <laughs> they have some talking points already. They, yeah, yeah, they figure it out. But yeah. um, <laughs> So, I mean, he, he committed a crime. Mm-hmm. There's no question about it. 
It's far from the most serious crime he's committed, to be honest. But it yeah. is. Yeah. But you say there's no question about it. He, not until he's convicted. We don't. We don't know a hundred. You can't say that a hundred percent. I don't think that's what I meant to say. What did I say? He one hundred percent did the crime. You don't have to 100% oh, do the oh. crime to get indicted. There just needs to be enough evidence enough. that you... That's but not what that's I meant what to you, say. Right. Were, like you said earlier, they decided there's enough compelling evidence. Right. The grand jury the grand jury is not proving he's guilty. Exactly. They just need to agree by a majority that they think that there's a compelling case yeah. to be tried. Yep. So that's why he was indicted. But I was. It's not close to his most serious crime. Yeah. But... Uh, the evi- okay, so there's a compelling uh, case there. But yeah, so he, you know, he, he's accused of committing a crime. And like, what the fuck do we, what the fuck do people want? I mean, what he's accused of, I meant, is 100% a crime. Right. And in fact, his attorney went to jail for doing that for him. So, mm-hmm. you know, I personally, to me, in a democracy, people are all, nobody's above the law. We hear that said all the time. But do we mean it? Mm. You know, I don't know. I, I, I mean, clearly they don't. It's the first time ever a president has been uh, sitting or previous has ever been charged with a crime. Yeah, I think that's crazy about America. I don't know. Because, <laughs> yep. like, in, I'm, in Israel, I've definitely seen prime ministers go to jail. Oh, yeah, they go down all the time. But that's, that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Because they're still accountable like everybody else. And in America, there's this precedent that at least you can't charge a sitting president, in fact. So Trump didn't even get charged when he was president because they couldn't. They just couldn't charge him with a crime because he was president. It's weird. Mm-hmm. But um, it's according to this, he could uh, face a maximum of four years in prison. Mm. So, of course, the right wing... Uh, 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 media sphere is uh, melting down. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's like people say, is it worth it? Is it a mistake? I don't really even think it goes that far. I mean, if you do a crime, you get yeah. charged for it. I mean, what's the deal? I don't see what's a mistake about it. Uh, it's actually something that would only happen in Stalinist Russia, in that's, a communist state. That's, um, what, yeah, that's what they say. The, the eagle has fallen. Um, this country is over. Um, it's been terminated to a permanent end. <laughs> well, what they're, saying, what, what they're saying is that optically, the political opposition group is being arrested. And that is like, uh, you know. That's something that only happens in, bana- in banana republics, the ones that, you know, <laughs> we set up and fund in uh, Central America. But, but yeah, it's more- funny because it's for sure we can all see it. This is not trumped up imaginary charges. This has been like stewing for years and years and years. Like everybody knows. No, this no, was, no. This wasn't just and I don't th- conjured out of thin air. And a DA would not take this to a grand jury if they weren't feeling pretty confident. I mean, I, I don't know anything about this particular DA other than he's backed by George Soros George and Soros. the Jews <laughs> and the Jews own it. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, at some point, Trump was uh, implying that all of this was extortion. Like, not even, like, really denying that the money was given to her, but that it was all blackmail and it was all bullshit in order to try and torpedo his campaign. He had to cough up a bunch of money to just avoid that. So I'm sure that's going to come up in court, right? Which means the crux of it, or at least of some of the charges, will be did he actually have this affair? Did he fuck Stormy Daniels or not. And so... Does it matter? He still hid the hush money. I mean... If he fucked her or not, Yes, but if it's done under duress uh, of being blackmailed, because, like, I mean, blackmail is... committed a crime. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously they're not believing that and they're charging him anyways. I'm just curious if they, like, have him 100% on the affair, which would be pretty funny. Mm. That would be... Yeah, that would be good. Uh, But anyway, here's some of the right-wing... reactions to to this here we go trump is a criminal it's democrats are branding trump as a criminal it's legally pathetic it's clickbait it is an unbelievable abuse of justice pure balderdash my heart is broken this man just said balderdash (laughs) on tv whoa (laughs) 
This guy. Look at this literal thumb. <laughs> Do you think he's a cop? <laughs> It's like Wilson. Fisk. Why does he have fingerprints on his face? <laughs> <laughs> you said he looks like a dummy. You're right. It's in my eyes. Looking a little emotional. I feel the same way. If ah. there's a mugshot of Donald Trump, it'll be in dorm rooms and on T-shirts. He is okay. an OG. Even Let's if go. convicted, that's not going to stop him. Donald Trump could run in part on saying, "I'm going to pardon myself and go after uh, the deep state." Uh, it's not open for debate that we live in a police state. It's like Stalin's purges. We're crossing the Rubicon <laughs> here. Crazy. This is a political Rubicon that has been crossed. They have crossed. The Rubicon. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the and the irony is just so insanely fucking pathetic. These are people who literally ran on the premise of locking up his political opponent. Yeah. It was literally screamed lock her up all day, every day, <laughs> at every rally. rally. Yeah. This whole fuck like one of his main uh, points was to lock up his political opponent. Hell yeah. It's just, it's like, shut the fuck up. Basically, it's one party hunting another. It almost feels like they're pushing the population to react. It is a war on conservatism and MAGA. They want you to strike out. People better be careful. And that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Democrats. What are you going to do about it, you little oh bitch? Okay. <laughs> what, are you going to puncture my tires and try to fuck my wife? Isn't that what he did? What's your back today? Uh, he let the air out of the tires of... I, believe an intern you hear about or this just a junior mm -mm. producer or something so this guy was trying to pick up a, a girl really so it was a way to get create an end for him he let the air out of her tires oh my god while well, he was married by the way he was <laughs> married yeah by the way. love it are branding Trump as a criminal. It's legally pathetic. It's clickbait. It is an unbelievable abuse of justice <laughs> pure balderdash. Oh, they're gonna call it abuse Wait, of it start, justice. Oh, it started over. Well, I can't get over Boulder Dash, personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, well, what's interesting is he's going to be tried in Manhattan, which is, I don't know if they're going to be able to find a jury that's not going to convict his ass of anything in Manhattan. They fucking hate him there as much as anywhere. Oh, there's MAGA people in New York, too, yeah. though. Manhattan? Mm -hmm. Joey, maybe Joey uh, will find his way onto the jury. <laughs> that's true. Fair Salad head. No, he has a lot of, um, because I, again, I watch the Housewives of New York. Oh, okay. Right? And you know so a thing or two about New York. A lot of them <laughs> it's true. voted for him, and they talk, They like they didn't want to talk about it, but they were backed into a corner to talk about it. <laughs> and um, they're like, yeah, I met him. You know, they they all mingle, the, the rich people of New York. Mm -hmm. That's true. So, You're right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh-oh, he posted a truth social, guys. He said, These thugs and radical left monsters have just indicated that the 45th president of the United States of America and the leading... He was trying to say indict. He spelled it wrong. Is that... I, I, was, I got cut up, but I was like, that doesn't say indict. <laughs> yeah, no. Indicated. <laughs> and the leading Republican candidate, by far... By far. <laughs> By far, people. For the 2024 nomination for president, this is an attack on our country, the likes of which we have never seen before. It is likewise a continuing attack on our once free and fair elections. So fair. <laughs> the fairest and freest. Uh, the U.S. is now a third world nation, a nation in serious decline. So sad. So sad. Very sad. Sad. So sad. Really sad. <laughs> <laughs> Here on Fox News, when the news broke, they were audible gasps broke out of uh, <laughs> the air. You can hear, listen. <laughs> Pretty great. Just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has been indicted. Here, uh, we have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has been indicted. I think they said shit. I think they go, somebody's <gasps> saying shit. Shit. <gasps> shit. <gasps> Wait, there's another, just past that, there's another little detail. Here, uh, we have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has been indicted hmm. by a grand jury the guy that's in like New York. Trump is under hmm. He's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody back there. By the DA's <laughs> office for his alleged hush Also, money. there were some Fox News people that were crying, I believe. There's one man above all who earned this moment, of course, that is our boy, uh, this fucking idiot, Jeff Tiedrich. Give it up. Yeah. I Give it up. Trump reply guy. 
Okay, I don't he know. has no Trump's number on. one hater of, in, in the world. Nobody hates Donald Trump more than this. He has replies guy. on it. He does not miss. Or he didn't miss a single. He's kind of lost now. Yeah, but but you know what? He earned this. He, he got a million day. followers for that. <laughs> That's a legend. Crazy. This Jeff. It's our boy Jeff Tiedrich. And there's no other picture of him. Only the super weird ass fucking photo. Because <laughs> I was like, what, who, what does he really look like? And this is it. This is all you get. Uh. He said, uh, ha 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 ha. Oops. I mean, how terrible for Donald Trump. Oh, fucking got him. That's, a, that's really not funny or interesting or clever. I mean, it's, ah. But who am I to? Uh, Jeff is our boy. Jeff knows what he's doing, dude. Ah, he is the best. He's got a million followers. <laughs> he's built a whole career off yeah. of just <laughs> epic burns like that one. He <laughs> represents the best of us. And uh, well, we salute you, Jeff. Welcome back. Um, there is, let's see, Junior uh, is out doing press tours. Our DJ boy. TJ? DJ TJ. DJ TJ. He has a really articulate. Leftovers. Statement on his podcast Triggered. <laughs> Great name. He has a podcast named Triggered. I'd like no, to sit on that for a minute. It's great I to just have Triggered plastered on your screen <laughs> as you're literally crying <laughs> right. on the screen. You're you're owning me so hard right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Proven even more right than I would have ever imagined because apparently, you know, Soros back Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Is actually indicting my father. So, let do you think you went a little white on the teeth? I dude? was just staring <laughs> at his teeth. What the fuck, man? They're so white. I wasn't even listening to what he was saying. Look at this shit. I can see Trump, uh, Junior, white in your teeth. It's disgusting. <laughs> right. He goes all <laughs> super white. Anything to please you. Look at this man's fucking teeth, dude. It's like porcelain from a toilet bowl. I mean, he's bought some shit streaks on that, boy. Manhattan District Attorney <laughs> Alvin Bragg is actually indicting my father. So let's be clear, folks. This is like communist level shit. Yeah. This is stuff that would make Mao. Oh my God. How Stalin, does anybody listen to this guy? <laughs> Pol Pot. It's it worse would make than Pol Pot. Them blush. This is worse. Than the Cambodian genocide. What's happening? Stalin would have been, oh my, he would have, uh, <laughs> wouldn't, can't believe this. But uh, very eloquently, this is like communist level shit, man. The smart guy. I can see why, uh, why, uh, he is set to inherit nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. His even dumber son? Yeah. Out of state, dude. This guy, I don't even know why they even let this guy like on TV. This dude is dumb as a motherfucker. This guy makes oh, Eric, he makes Junior look like a damn NASA scientist. <laughs> Check this out. Organization of politics and of the justice system. We've seen it with the FBI, we've seen it with the DOJ, we've seen it time and time again. At some point, the guy deserves a pass. Give him a pass. Why? Oh, Hillary Clinton got a pass. Oh, Hillary right. Clinton, of course. Oh, this is him on Hannity. That's yeah. a pass. Which is Just give him a pass. The second most popular show probably in in, in cable television news. Hannity. Uh, I think he's fallen off quite a bit, but uh yeah, I don't know. Listen. Don't know where he's at now. Boys will be boys. What can I say? Hannity's got like a whistle going on. The way he talks. He's getting a big ass head like Jay Leno. Just keeps growing. It's just fucking like massive. Yeah. Station of politics and of the justice system. We've seen it with the FBI. We've seen it with the DOJ. We've seen it time and time again. At some point, the guy <laughs> deserves a pass. Yeah. At, well, Hillary Clinton got a pass. Hillary Clinton, of course, you got about 100 delete, 33,000 deleted emails. No. Dude, you guys got to move so, on. But that's the thing. Like, he's saying that his dad did it. Like, give him a pass. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Just give him a pass. They're like, Hillary Clinton got a pass with her deleted emails. So they're saying that's a crime. So my dad gets to do some crimes. And he get gets a yeah. get out of jail free card. Yeah. But if it was up to them, they would throw her in jail. Yes. And kill her. But uh, because she didn't <laughs> get jail, then he should get a pass. <laughs> you got to think about like, so Donald Trump has two fuck up incompetent boys. 
And so he becomes president, and now we got to listen to these fuckers talk on television like they know <laughs> anything about anything. Yeah. Like, they're nobodies. They're like college dropout fuck-ups, losers, fucking cokeheads. They've made nothing with themselves. And now their dad became president. They're going to put on suits and make us listen to them on Fox News like they have an opinion worth listening to. It's crazy. Give them a pass, he says. Well, prosecutor would ever prosecute, James Coleman infamously said. Uh, then, of course, the dirty dossier that was used by the FBI in the 2016 election, uh, unverifiable because it the was dirty all dossier. BS. Uh, right. But yet they signed fi four FISA warrants, three by Jim Comey himself. Shut up. Yeah, whatever. It was, it was mostly just for the past shit. Uh, Lindsey, oh no, Lindsey Graham. I think he was crying, wasn't he? Yeah. Well, it's hard, <laughs> a little hard to tell, but it looked like he might be. He's on the verge of crying. For yeah. sure. His, he looks still watery. A pile of crap. <laughs> How do you do it? You <laughs> take I think a. He is crying. Well, if, I don't if you know. got a pop He's crying. But I don't think he actually gives a shit. So do you think he like just like rubbed his eyes really hard before <laughs> to make it look like he's upset? Maybe. I think he's getting lost in the sauce. I think he cares. I don't enough. I don't. He's being emotional. He's way more cynical than that. Come on. Is Lindsey Graham? Could just be stoned. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was unexpected. He's like, oh fuck, I gotta go on air now. Just How do you do it? The bong. You take a well. If, if you got a pile of crap and you chop it up thirty-four times, it's still a pile of crap. It's duplicious charging. They're trying He's to crying. smear the guy. They're trying to take cases that nobody else would take and resurrect them. This is literally legal voodoo. Literally. <laughs> How do you do it? Uh, legal voodoo. Legal voodoo. It's literally. Bro. It's magic. <laughs> what is this language you're talking? <laughs> Legal voodoo. I don't like the sound of that. I know voodoo ain't right. DeSantis tweeted out. Let's see what he had to say. Of course, they're becoming bitter enemies uh, as they are about to face off. He's got his back this time, though. The weaponization of the legal system to advance a political agenda turns the rule of law on its head. I'm wondering um, how, what he thinks about making it illegal to discuss gay people, gayness, in school. If that's weaponizing the legal system for a political agenda. It's un-American! The Soros-backed, dude, they're so crazy for that. The Soros-backed Manhattan District Attorney has consistently bent the law to downgrade felonies and to excuse criminal misconduct, yet now... He is stretching the law to target a political opponent. Florida will not assist in an extradition request given. Amazing. I don't think they need Florida's assistance to... Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, amazing. Given the questionable circumstance of the issue, with the Soros... You said that already. Soros-backed Manhattan prosecutor and his political agenda. Did he mention he's Soros-backed? Is that even true? That's my wrong. From what I understand, uh, no. <laughs> the short answer is no. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, he Soros donated like all billionaires do to a bunch of PACs, and one of them don donated some money to another organization. Then that money was donated to his campaign, and it was like fifteen. Soros backed. It was like fifteen hundred dollars. Sounds something. like voodoo to me. That's voodoo. <laughs> but I don't like voodoo. Once my ex girlfriend did a little voodoo on me, <laughs> I felt that boy. Took my dog effigy, put a pin in it, felt that right there in my arm. A little voodoo time. I didn't like that one bit. Now we got them Democrats doing legal voodoo. It ain't right. Witchcraft in the White House. Getting late, Rada. Really? You, you mind your P's and dot your Q's, little lady. All right. Well, that was good times. Man, I love that. Oh, I forgot to say, when I was in the bathroom, somebody from YouTube called me. Really? <laughs> By the way, my rep, I told him, if you're reaching out or texting me, can you just tell me before? <laughs> Lead with I'm not in trouble because I shit <laughs> myself every time you call me. Because usually, whenever we get in trouble, yeah. he calls me and tells me. Right. So he texts me, he says, you're not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> can you talk so on the phone? I said, thank God. So I call him. He says, we were watching your podcast, and we saw you talking to um, uh, Fish and Garrett. Yes. And we would love to help him out. 
Oh my god. So we'll so they got someone there, a partner manager, that they want to get in touch with Garrett and they're gonna help get all that content. Let's fucking go know. right now. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. So that was great. That was really cool. More surprising is anybody at YouTube watching the show. Yeah. That that surprised me. That was cool. It was, it, yeah, he said someone was watching the show and they uh, wanted to reach out to Garrett. I thought that was cool too. Yeah. I don't know if we should be flattered or worried about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> That's a good question, frankly. <laughs> so I'm waiting for an email from them and then I guess I'll write an intro to Garrett. Um, but that's exciting. Yeah, very yeah, cool. Love. Really cool. I was saying, I loved him. He's so great. Mm -hmm. Um, that's about it. That's it. That's about it. Let's ask Chat GBT one more thing. Wrap it up. Let's get on out of here. If my farts smell like beef jerky, should I be worried? I don't know. Let's see. It tastes like beef jerky. I'm not a doctor. If <laughs> your farts smell like beef jerky, it's not necessarily a cause for concern. If it's sm if the smell is consistent and accompanied by other symptoms like abdominal pain, right? Well, yeah, duh. I mean, come on. This thing, this doctor sucks. Well, he liked that. He says no, no. You sh you're cool. What if my farts? Farts smell like uh, rotten. I don't know what. What's like a weird? Uh, what if my farts smell uh, really good to me? Should yeah. I be worried? <laughs> if your farts smell good to you, it's not necessarily a cause for concern either. <laughs> uh, the perception of smell is, of course, subjective. Mm -hmm. right. Fascinating. <laughs> what if I love smelling people's farts? All right. Oh, what All right. if I love Take us out. Thank you. smelling people's farts? See you all next week. Farts. See you on Monday. Wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Thanks,